two months. Yay!
the future is wrestling. We have brought the best wrestlers from across time and space to compete for honor and glory. This is Stone's Galactic Wrestling Federation. What the universe is watching. To Sons Galactic Wrestling Federation Galactic Wrestling. Today is Sunday, August the 16th, 2020. The year's almost over. Just got a couple important days. Christmas. And then that's going to be it. Right? That'll be it. Okay. Uh, announcements? I don't think we have any announcements. Uh, oh, actually, yes, we do. So the Universal Championship, previously I was like, hey, if you win a triple threat, then you can qualify for, like, a match to see who would win. Like, if you won that, then you go fight the Universal Champion. Uh, but I think what we're going to do instead is um, have a mini tournament every month where people that were not selected in the previous Canadian Championship gauntlet, they'll they will be the ones that will be allowed to go into this eight person tourney. The winner of that will go on to SummerSlam or go on to whatever free purview and fight the champion. Cause uh need to find a different way of making people get title shots without having power rankings because I want the power rankings to be the main title only. So, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, if you ha We're still collecting yays, like cheers and boos. If you want to record a cheer of five to seven seconds long, roughly, um and a boo of like three to five seconds um please send it to me uh mp3 or i think even m4a which is like mac audio something or other I'm not sure what that is but i've seen it around uh i think i can use those too uh wave files are good too just send it to me on discord and uh, i'm gonna be creating a cheer and a boo sound clip that we're gonna use for stream it's not i don't have enough yet so. Hi, Carrie. Hello. Talk again. Say say something, Carrie. I almost forgot about the stream today. Oh, we gotta put you up. What was that? I said I almost forgot about the stream today. Oh. I was going to sleep in. Nice. <laughs> well, you could have. I, I went to bed after two in the morning. I don't remember you coming to bed. I do hear myself in you, though. Me too. Well, Very you echoey. should you should hear me because I have it set up like that. I got a new headset. Yes, she did. Let's go down to minus five. All right. Okay, let's do some matches. We're gonna have uh, the pack attack. We'll take on Crimson Twins. And this match is ready to go. 
Let's start that going. Let's start this going. Bam. So the other, I think one of the other things that uh, I forgot to mention in the announcements is we are going to be doing rivalries. So good morning, Alpha Reaper. Hey, Aria. Whoa, what is Aria doing up? I told her that we're oh. going to be on. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hopefully, hopefully Wolfpack is watching, too. Wolfpack should be sleeping. All right, if you just got up, go back to bed. <laughs> Sunday. Sunday. Okay, so we're going to do rivalries, but we're not going to let the universe mode handle them because I don't like how they always do callouts and the callouts take up a match card. I, I, I just don't like it. So what we're going to do is uh, I've got a little formulaic system working on, like I'm working on here, that we're going to see how it goes. And uh, this week, our, we're only going to do one rivalry for each sex. I'm not going to tell you who that is. You'll figure it out eventually. And uh, we will move on from there. Wolfpack for life. Oh my goodness, Arya. You got the Witcher, yes. Apparently, L. Gurn the Butcher loves the Witcher. He would love to be... What, what's his name? Riven? And Something rather. Yeah. Oh, I didn't bet. Better bet soon. Bam. Also, uh, Big Sausage, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. And I'm very sorry. He knew what he signed up for. Yes, he did. Very sorry. Still sorry, anyways. Oh, I didn't even do the thing. Oh, man. Well, card. I didn't even do the match card. All right, so Pack Attack Air is 9 4 0, 3 0 against. Uh, the Crimson Twins, too busy talking, and the Crimson Twins are, oh, you know what? It's not even up, son of a gun. I knew I forgot something, well, I knew I forgot something. There's always something, man. Always something. That's on, that's on, that's on. Info panel. That. All right. Crimson, there we go. Crimson Twins. 116 and 1. 0 1 3 against the pack attack. Who did they win against? I don't know. And the pack attack are 9 4 and 0. And they are both pretty sure that they are the alpha male. That's going to cause them some problems, I'm sure, down the road. There can only be one alpha male. Trouble in paradise? Probably. I mean, that's probably why they lost the tag team belts uh, last month. Was it last month? It was It was last month. They beat the backwoodsman. Which the pack attack do have money in the bank belts. So we will see if that could possibly be a thing. We have not seen anything cashed in yet. Cobra Commander up on the turnbuckle. Huh? <gasps> oh! That's what you're supposed to do with it. <laughs> Jeffy got distracted. Zamot unloaded. I mean, that was a pretty smart move. Pretty smart. For Cobra Commander, yes. I mean, something he finally did worked. Right? Like, oh no. What's he doing down there? Yikes. Mind the boys. Mind the boys. Oh, 
no Look, distraction. Where's Jeffy? Oh, Cobra Commander again. Distracting Jeffy. Oh, yeah, we got a bet on Jeffy. So, Jeffy, how many times, times do you think he's going to get hit? Two? I'm going to go four. Last time we were tracking it, he only got knocked down once. Max is having a little hissy fit over there. I don't think Zaymod is tagged in yet. Just as he said it. <laughs> as we say it, this is this is what happens. This is what happens. Maybe you have to lower your sensitivity down. Not through voice meter. Oh my goodness, it looks like he's like, you he got put through the ropes. Am I too loud? No, I can hear you. No, I can hear me. <laughs> through you, and I can hear the the highs through you, of me. Sounds a little weird. So what we can do is you can go, you, you would have to talk a little bit louder. So when you talk and you say something, see, I can still hear me. Go say something. Am I speaking loud enough? Is it too low? Too low. Higher. I have to speak louder like this? Yes. No. So much more effort. Okay, so if you go like that, see how mine is? I'm talking like this in the green, but as I talk, your volume is going up a little bit, right? Yes. So that's what they can hear. It's just that little extra thing. Do I have to be farther away? I don't know. Maybe you can go in the uh, third room. You can set up a webcam there. You know, in theory... No, and now you're being cut off. You oh, because I went further away. You need to be close. Did you take a shower today? No. I brushed my teeth for. At least that's something. So I can breathe on you. No. I can breathe right up into your face. Oh, no, no, thank you. I'm just going to throw some coffee on you. Yeah, it's picking up. Yes, I hear that. Let's see? I mean, it's not bad to have a set of sort of mic, because we have my Yeti. So that was the other thing that we were thinking about, too, is that doing the Yeti, um, we, I've got a Yeti here. It's not plugged in, um, or it is hooked up to a thing, so I can't pull it out. <laughs> you know what it looks like. I do what it looks like, know what it looks like, but I like <laughs> to pull it out. I want to pull it out. Not on Twitch. Yeah, I'm going to break the terms of service. Anyway, so I got a Yeti, and the second we could set it up in front of us so we can pick us up, but it's also going to pick up my keyboard. Taka, taka, taka. And, He's uh, cut. It's very sensitive. To oh, who is that? Zaymot or Tomax? I, I think it's Zaymot. I think it's Zaymot. It is Zaymot. Yep. Yes. So the other thing to look at too is if the red shoulder pad is on his right side, that's Zaymot. Okay. Who also has a scar on his right side of the face. Oh god. Eldrin. That was a particularly vicious move. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I want to see Jeffy get nailed here. Not in this match. I want to see him get nailed in all the matches. What Take did you say? Out. He's going to be hit four times? Four. Damn it, Jeffy. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh. That's a whole lot of the bob right there. Yeah, that was very loud. Mm -hmm. We put down. bells on Bob so he can't sneak up on anyone. Uh-huh. See, the thing with Bob is that his color matches our floor. Like, he's very beigey, you know? Like, we've got that beigey wood floor. So he matches it. And, uh... We, we were worried about him sneaking around and us not and us not being able to see him. He didn't even hit him. He did. Look, and he's busted he up even more. <laughs> what are you talking about? He totally hit him. Totally hit him. Oh my god. I think the Zemont might be dead. Now what's he gonna do? Oh, oh wow, that looks really bad. <laughs> it's, he's, he's cut open big. Big time. He's, I, I'm hoping Wolfpack will But he has enough of, strength to yeah, do this. Yeah, I mean, he's still going. But I'm hoping Wolfpack will put him out of his, 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 his misery. Now, if the twins can feel each other's pain, I guess... Tomax would feel like he's cut, but then he's like, oh, I'm not cut, though. So it's not like it, just because one brother gets cut doesn't mean that he gets cut. Does he feel 100% of the pain, not just like 50%? Everything. Everything. He feels everything. Jeffy once again getting distracted by Cobra Commander. Oh, Jeffy almost got it. Almost got it. Oh, this is the, the oh, I was gonna say this was gonna be it. Nope. Seems like it's gonna be all on Tomax, and Zamas is like, yeah, I don't want to have anything to do with this. Kick to the midsection. Oh my god. Night night. Now I I can't believe that's gonna be it then. Yeah, oh man, Eldrin took out Zamot. And broke up the pin attempt. Good gravy. Oh, if Aria is still here, I sent uh, I sent Wolfric a message about you know the container that you have, that you put the fire in at your old trailer. What the hell is that called? Because it's like, it's made out of, it's, it's like a shallow steel drum. But I don't know what to look for. I don't know how to buy that. Like, I don't know what to get it from. Because I looked on Kijiji, and all that I see there are like brand new fire boxes, and I, I don't necessarily want that. I just give me something cheap. Because I don't want to invest in something that we're not going to be using a whole lot. Because you know our neighbors in the bylaws, right? So. They're at the trailer right now. You're at the trailer. How are they at the trailer and watching this? She has internet there. Internet. It's not out in the boonies. Well, that's true. And she doesn't know. Well, Aria, what, you know... It's just a regular fire pit? Okay. I was saying he could just go to an auto wreckers to get a drum like that because it looks like it's part of um, a car. Yeah, but it's bigger. It looks, it looks, yeah, it looks like it could be a huge tire rim that got that like. It's not like all one solid piece. It's got cut or something. 
They're at home. They're at home. She says she changed her mind. I'm so hungry, I could eat an Arby's right now, you know? Arby's is close. It's 10 in the morning. You know, the other thing that we could do... Because I, I moved it up so that you don't hear as much. So. Is... Was that everything that came with it? Yeah, there's nothing else. There's no, like, plastic sleeve that could possibly go over top of the microphone because no, I see... I didn't see anything. Because I see right here on the other side, it's open, and that's why it's picking me up. No, there so was if nothing. So we, if we, like, taped something onto the outside, then it would pick, then it would pick it up. Don't take off your... If, if you're going to go do that now, let me know. I'll mute you. Are you going to go do that now? No. Oh, wait, it's no big deal. Just looking at it. Are you gonna buy that chair? Yeah, there's a chair we found um, at Pulse Labs for $199. Uh, the weight limit is 300 pounds. I was kind of hoping to get something bigger, like something that could handle more. But, uh... Don't weigh 300 pounds. No. Oh, thanks. That's an easy fix. No, it's not. Some people don't have that. Well, luxury. for you, I mean. Don't weigh 300 pounds. Oh, they're at an eight count. Uh-oh. This could be a double count out. Oh, oh no! Oh! oh. <laughs> Aria she blocked him. Blocked him. <laughs> we have a draw. Does that mean we all get points? We all get points. Yay! Draw. Double count out. What dummies. Well, I was Aria, wondering why the match was taking so long. Aria, like, he was going to run in, but Aria's right there, and he and she blocked him. So With her horn. She basically saved a loss, even though it was a draw. So a draw is better than a loss. A loss, you only get one point. Draw, you get well, two and a half. Well, this only helps the Crimson Twins stats. <laughs> Now they're one sixteen and two. Uh-huh. Right. Okay. Let's move on to our next match. Here we go. We're gonna have Jessica Keene against the Space Unicorn. Uh oh, we also have tickets because we are gonna be doing boss oh, battle you. today. Both boss battles. So what? So what we're gonna do for the boss battles is um, because both Venom and She-Hulk will be wrestling today. We're gonna like everybody will be put into the same draw, and we'll draw two two winners. The first winner will draw for, will select whoever for Venom or She-Hulk. It's up to them. And the second person drawn will select for the other boss. Uh, Jessica Kane versus a space unicorn. Making her way to the ring from Windsor, Ontario, Canada, Jessica. It's bet on Zorts. Oh, yeah. She couldn't announce her full name. J well, because Kane is not a soundbite, apparently, oh. in 2K19, which is ridiculous because it is, because they have. They have a wrestler named Kane. It's silly. Jessica Kane, 7 4 0. Won by Zorts the Goblin. First time facing off against the Space Unicorn. Apparently, she raised money to buy her first pair of wrestling boots by washing cars. Hmm. Wonder what kind of car wash that was, but. Convertibles. She would only watch convertibles. <laughs> and her opponent from out of this world, the anomaly. I'm hungry. I am too. Sir Garrett. Sir Garrett owns Space Unicorn. Space Unicorn 3, 2, and 0. Oh. She has an arsenal of various marshmallow laser weapons. It's true. 
It is 100% true. I could eat. I'm so hungry, I could eat at Arby's. You said that already. I say it all the time. Ari, I stole your marshmallow. What? <laughs> Ari stole my marshmallows? I stole her marshmallow. When? When we were over. Oh. I put it in the bag with all our s'more stuff, and I took their marshmallows too. So hopefully you guys weren't looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, planted three more emerald cedars in front of our shed. Because Stone sleeps there all the time. Might so as well make it a little bit nicer. Want to make it look nicer, yeah. <laughs> so, Aria, we're thinking about putting the fire pit that we're not allowed to have between the garden and the shed. It seems a little bit more secluded there, whereas the other place was in the nook of the deck. And when you look around from that section, a lot more houses can see you. So... Not really sure. I think we're gonna... I think I... I think we want... I think I want to put it near the garden. Do you think that we can put up like a wall in the middle of the yard, like a lattice wall? Or would that look a what weird? Wall? A lattice For wall? what? Just so that it provides more screening against the houses over there from seeing our yard. Like there'd be a wall. Up. No? I don't know. Carrie will bake the cake. She'll put in the tools. And Matt will help break me out. Yep. Because in our town, we're not allowed to have wood burning fires. Probably because of one person complaining about the smoke. Even though, even though some people think, seem to think you're allowed to have a wood burning fire to cook food, I looked at our bylaws and that's they're full of crap. So, you are allowed to have a fire table, which operates on gas, because it's got a safety feature to shut down if anything's going to go wrong, which is great. Um, but wood-burning fire, you can't just shut it down, right? Uh, I am very... I'm very scared of fire, so I respect fire. So I don't just treat it like... It's nothing. I walk away from it and blah, 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 blah. So I know that I'm not worried about how I treat my fire. It's just it does go against the town bylaws, but damn it. I want a fire. I think we could get away with it if we did it like at night night, like not at dusk, but when it's dark, like the sun's completely gone. The other problem is that we don't have wood. Oh, there's Jessica Kane in with a submission. Uh oh, that's gonna be that I think No Tap! I well I bet on Zorts, so I don't like wins by submission. I want them to Why? actually be pinned. Dude, you made somebody like say I quit. No, you should beat them till they're dead. Wow. That's how a true winner wins. But what if they say, "Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm down," and then they lay it down for you for you to pin them? That's Is that different. the same? Because that's not you tapping. But that's kind of what they're saying. No. You put them in. You're putting them in so much pain that they're like, "Oh my God!" Ah. Oh, Jessica Kane just kicked out. Oh, Space Unicorn mad. Usually she doesn't get mad. She she wants to spread cheer everywhere. Oh. 
people can get mad sometimes. They're allowed to. They're not the space unicorn. Can't be happy go lucky all the time. Hey, you get points. I always forget to look at that. Eh, not at all. I mean, it's better for you to look at this. I know. In the front. Here we go, another submission. Jessica. Oh no, Dude Buster. Unicorn Buster. Oh boy. Get out the positioning. Of it. Oh, Jessica Kane almost got it. What the heck? <laughs> what what the heck is submission this? move is this? But Jeffy's not even looking at them. <laughs> I know. Where is Jeffy looking? I think he's looking at the Videotron. <laughs> Instead of the live action in front yeah. of him? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't need to know. He's just like, I'm looking at the Videotron. I can see I can see better here than me having to turn around and look. Maybe he's just tired from getting hit all the time. There's a marshmallow laser cannon attack. Kane not done yet. Both of their outfits are very reflective. They are. So maybe they're fighting for that. My outfit is better than your outfit. You go change yours to normal material. <laughs> oh, there we go. Space Unicorn with the win. Sources can mad well sorts his uh streak continues <laughs> yeah but he's not here so if he's not here shouldn't he win no that's okay alpha i lost to i lost two man go tag team match and have the Bolsheviks versus the tag team champions the hit squad it is not a title match though title will be on the line a week from tomorrow and as always you should always bet for the Russians No. Bet for the Bolsheviks. It is the only way to go. No. Oh, look, there's an LB. LB, go back to bed. Yeah, we, yeah, we need to... Wait a minute. Isn't his day off? Today's Sunday. It is, but he's just a go... Yeah. But maybe they're making him work extra. Oh. Are you working extra? He, I think he's working extra by being here in the chat. And he could be in bed sleeping. See? It is a day off. Not working extra. That no could be for anything. It's 9.30. Yeah, see? It's 9.30. Go, 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 go back to bed. He doesn't want to sleep. Four, eight, and one. They have faced the hit squad before and they lost that. Did you know that they were formed to pay homage to the great Russian Empire of ancient Earth? Circa 2020. This year. It's not this year. We are beyond space and time. Oh. I keep, you know, you, I, like I know it's. Like I know, like we go to various space time continuums and what stuff. What year are we in? I, it does, I, we don't know. We're just all over the place. I think last night we were in 2020. Why would we relive mm -hmm. such a bad year? History. History. <laughs> and their opponent, the well, LB, you have to record your booze. So we can add it to that 
to clip. the file. Yeah, to the soundbite. Come on, LB. And then you can actually do the boo, and we'll hear it. Hit Squad 11, 7 and 0. Rumors continue to circulate about their intense je jealousy of each other's careers. <laughs> now, I don't know if that's 100% true. Sure. I think it's more that Alice Wright is jealous of Wind Raker. Because Wind the Raker is one. the more successful of the two. And Alice Wright is just angry all the time. She was born angry. I think that LB's boo soundbite will be like stone, stone, boo, <laughs> boo, stone, boo. That's what his boo would be like. It's true. I think that's a true fact as well. Uh, okay, so actually with the Bolsheviks, um, Fran will be getting a bump up to level 100. She's at 90 right now. Um, after the week of SummerSlam. So I don't think it's fair to change her halfway through because uh, matches can have an impact on standings going into SummerSlam. So. Why are you changing her? Because I was looking at it and it says that, uh, well, you know, number one, you can't have a tag team with a player and a non-player. And I think it's time that Fran started to pull her own weight and act like a full member of this team and, continue, and help to crush and earn these ladies the tag team championship. We've got one we got one non-player tag team left. And when they're gone, I don't want these ladies to be like the like the crappy team that's easy to beat. But they are. No. 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 Just because they're great doesn't mean that you have to be, you know, you know jealous of their awesomeness. No one said anything about being jealous. I mean, it's pretty obvious you are. So. Lady Red, don't tap. Lady Red's a former champion. So is Madison Windraker. Nope. Nope. Here comes Fran. Fran's going to teach Madison the thing or two. Oh my goodness. Or not. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so hungry. I I I can hear the I can feel the bubbles. Oh no. Oh no. Dragon drop. Oh jeebus. Yep. I think it's over. And Lady Red is out. No Fran's not done, LB. Ran here, played by Missy Pyle. <clears throat> if anybody was wondering where she went to, well, she's right here. Missy Pyle is right here. My lord. Is that a submission or is she just trying to break her leg? I think she is trying to break her leg. Yeah. Uh, Madison finally tags in Alice Wright. Fresh legs. Alice right in now. Now with a submission. Come on, friend. No, 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 no. Kick out of it, friend. Break out. Break out. There we go. Russian strength right there. Must be the drugs. What are you talking about? Well, Russians always want to... Take talking? a little are you bit. Sure? Oh, look at this. Lady Red helping out. Nice. Good job. Good job. What teamwork. Amazing. Amazing. I mean, you could be looking at the next uh, uh, tag team champs right here. Russian Fury incoming right here. 
This is the stampede. Hey, that? Voodoo, thank you for the host, sir. I appreciate it. it. Doesn't show up on the screen. I don't know why, because Twitch is Twitch. It doesn't even show up in Twitch's feed, see? No, it did not. It just showed up in the chat. That's that's a Twitch problem. Voodoo Ash, for folks that do not know, he is our principal inspiration for this wrestling stream. Oh, look at this. What the? They're just gonna stand there. Yeah, Fran's just standing there. Maybe she uh, wasn't sure what to do. Uh, he is the principal inspiration for our wrestling stream. Um, he is the person that Zorts brought me into. Uh, to watch and I was amazed because I had no idea that this was a thing shouldn't you be sleeping voodoo you should go back to bed <laughs> what time is it over there no lady red pins Alice right defeating the tag team champions unfortunately it was not a title match unfortunately Lucky for the hit squad. And we see once again that Alice Wright is the weaker link of the two. The weaker link. Shouldn't have tagged her in. I don't know. I don't Maybe know. she should have started and then when Raker, when Raker would finish. Voodoo, you should still go back to bed. Here are your winners, Francine Sokolov S. Oh, look. The only person that bet on the Bolsheviks is, is the me. Cheater. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Stone. Thank you, Stone. I appreciate it for your win. Have a triple threat match coming up. I'm gonna start that betting right now. It's one fall to a finish. Tuxedo Mask versus Junkyard Dog versus Grim. Hmm, no multi betting. I'm going to bet on Grim. Let me scroll back up. I miss. I miss Add a little for my guy. Fran. Can we get a 1v1? Get out of the ring, Fran? No, 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 no. Fran was in the ring for like two minutes after she got tagged up by the dirty cheaters, these Russians. Oh, come on. Come on, man. You just lost. It's fine. It's, good. it's gonna be fine. No sleeping for this guy. Taking care of mama. That's right. Maybe a nap during the day. I, I will be honest. Um, lately, I have not been napping and by the time by like 10 10 30 i am wiped out wiped out you mean 10 30 at night at night <laughs> Dur <laughs> during the day Making his way she the she laughs but Japan. sometimes it's true it's true 10 30 i'm like oh but in go back the to morning bed. i'm so tired i want to go back to bed there is Tuxedo Mask, 1-0 in triple threat matches. She's actually won the only one that she's been in. Also known as Prince... What? The hell is that? That's his alternate name. I don't know how to pronounce it. Go and pronounce it. Endymion? Okay. All right. I don't know. I have not watched Sailor Moon in a while. She was last playing Duolingo, which I was, and we discovered a way for people to cheat really bad in there. So like, rampant Really bad, yeah. And so we don't bother with the leaderboards now. We just, just go do it just to learn it. Yes. Man. And his opponent, first, from Charlotte, North Carolina, 
Weighing in at 280 pounds, one half of the Tag Team Junkyard <laughs> Dogs. Junkyard Dog owned by Dave DeHunter. You're not allowed to bet. You always lose. Um, that used to be how it used to... Okay. I want to tell you, when I bet on Voodoo's wrestlers, like in his stream, because he has a wrestling stream that goes uh, Tuesday, Thursday. Are you doing Saturday and Sunday, or are you not doing the 2K21 anymore? 21. 2K21 anymore. Oh. Uh, Whenever I bet on the wrestlers in his fed, I always lose. It's it's just terrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. There is a junkyard dog. Time to party. Time to party indeed. And from Miami, Florida. We should do that too. At 220 pounds. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> All right, Grim, this is the first time that he's been in a triple threat match. He is a newcomer. I think his uh, debut was last week. He was abducted by aliens three times. Because they wanted to party, too. Because they wanted to party? Yes. I mean, I think last night I was because uh, I woke up in the middle of the night outside with no with no clothes on and covered in this sticky maple syrup. Oh, Jeffy! That's Jeffy one. just got tagged, just got drop kicked. Bam! Have to record it down. Yep, just a little tick over here. That's one for Jeffy. Just a reminder, we do have tickets for our boss matches that are going to be happening. Oh, you're doing Saturday? Okay. Got you. Got you. Okay. Because I wasn't sure if you had restarted it on the Saturday or not because you were playing uh, Fairy Tale. Mm-hmm. Are you done playing Fairy Tale? I think so. I think I saw him playing the epilogue. Or maybe we can just let Voodoo answer. Or I can let Voodoo answer. We're just guessing. <laughs> Every day is Fairy Tale Day. Fairy Tale is on Sundays. Okay. Oh my god, junkyard dog with the clotheslines all over the place. <laughs> and another one took his head off. Lariato! There you go, Zorts. Oh my god, junkyard dog with a submission right off the bat. What is. Wow, junkyard dog wants to be a high flyer like Grim here. There's the Rose Blaster by Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> no. no. Rose Blaster? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, I gotta come up with. Oh, look at Junker Dog that crawls <laughs> over to get a pin attempt in. <laughs> Grim is like, what? Oh no. Who's he gonna jump on? Looks like Tuxedo Mask. Well, no one now. Is he actually... No, my... Oh, well, missile who did drop he kick. I mean, he <laughs> did get a piece of Tuxedo Mask, but I think Grim took most of that. Why did he roll out? Because <laughs> he got hurt. Maybe he winded himself. Maybe. Okay, so for tickets, our boss matches are tonight or at the end of the stream. Uh, first ticket is free. And uh, every ticket ever that is 250. If you get selected, you will pick who will fight either Venom or She Hulk. After that, we'll draw another person who will select who will fight 
the, the other boss that didn't get done yet. So buy your tickets. Even if it's one that's free. You don't even have to have a wrestler in here. As long as you're here in the chat when we do the draw, I'll give you a list of people that you're not allowed to pick, which will be anybody in the number one contenders match on Monday or Tuesday. If you don't if you don't take the day off. Are you streaming today, Vu? There, it sounds like he wants to take the day off. <laughs> there is the next question. <laughs> Are you streaming today, Vu? <laughs> Voodoo puts the hoodoo in in the YouTube? What? I don't know. In the Yoohoo? <laughs> in the Yoohoo? Ooh. Isn't that a milk chocolate? Ooh, Voodoo. Is, is that a candy bar? No, a it's bar? milk chocolate. Yoohoo. Yuhu is yeah, milk chocolate? Yeah, it's an American brand, I think. Ooh. That's why we don't have it here. Never heard of it. Or unless they went out of business. Well, perhaps some of our American friends here can enlighten us, because they might not like you who either. <laughs> up north, don't know. <laughs> I guess you know. You, 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 if you were to give us a name in terms of uh, uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, we would be the wildlings. We live in the tuck in like the frozen north wasteland. We'll be the wildlings? Wildlings? Wildlings, yeah. At least it isn't a big Turk. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm I've not never a fan had of big a Turk. big Turk, uh, so I don't know what it is. I like Mr. Big. And Coffee Crisp. And Arrow. And Arrow. Mint Arrow. And Coffee. And, and Kit Kat. And Kit Kat. And, and Told uh, World. Caramel. And Ferrero Rocher. Yes. We can list a whole <laughs> list of <laughs> chocolate bars only that you like. <laughs> what, what about listing the ones you don't like? Bounty. Don't like Bounty. It'll be a game, game time. All right, dude. All right. Trying to put you on the spot, Voodoo. I'm trying to make you commit. <laughs> you either in or you out. Now, if I could only eat one chocolate bar. One type for the rest of your life? For the rest of your life. Which one would that be? Oh, that's tough. Without getting sick of it? Nope. No, 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 no. Oh, you don't, don't even worry about consider that. that. Okay. You don't worry about being sick of it, but if, if this is it, this is the only type you're allowed to have for the rest of your life. Or, better yet, okay? Pick one chocolate bar that they tell you that this is the last chocolate bar you're ever going to eat. Ever. For your entire life. Uh, Which one would that be? There you go. Maybe that's better. Alpha likes bounty. Alpha likes bounty. You're cut off. Wow. You know what? I am more accepting of people. <laughs> you know? You do you. Bounty is maybe not my favorite. There's too much coconut in there. <laughs> but I'm not cutting people off. <laughs> it's she's, okay. Alpha's not savage. betting anyway. <laughs> she is savage. I think I would go with Coffee Crisp. Really? Yeah. I'm not a coffee fan myself, but there's just enough of the coffee flavor and the chocolate and wafer. And then, I, I still don't know. Ooh, Snickers. Alpha would go Snickers. And oh, Henry. Hmm. Oh, Henry is a good one. I, I like I like that too. See, I, I'd be torn between Coffee Crisp, Mr. Big, and O. Henry, but I mean, Snickers is good too, you know? I think I would go for the Mint Arrow. Three Musketeers. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I love that one so much. I used to eat them all the time. Oh my god, Junkyard <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Trying to do his best Grim and completely missed. 
No, he was going for the logo. So it's like an O. Henry minus the chocolate. Really? Ooh. Grim. You are pick one. Pins, tuxedo mask. You know what? I don't think I bet. Did but I But you bet? said. I thought you did bet. Uh, maybe maybe well, we'll I see. did. Grim in his first triple threat. Pins, tuxedo mask. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, Henry is your favorite. Rigged. Well, if you bet, it's rigged. Here is your winner. Let's did you see. bet? I did. See? I told you. I did. I'm the only one. All right. Congratulations, Grim. A hard fought victory. Oh, yeah, we have to do the dance. Boom, you gotta do it when he wins. Look, he got cut. Oh, too. he got cut too, <laughs> eh? That was very much a hard fought win. So I guess he deserved the win. Absolutely, he deserved the win. He pinned you. I was only betting on Tuxedo Mask because I own Tuxedo Mask. Uh, who am I gonna bet on? Well, the Grinders. Aria's favorite is O. Henry. Big sausage. The saltiness of the peanuts. Oh my gosh. So it's like an O. Henry minus the chocolate. What See, is? I need uh, in O. Henry 425. Oh. It doesn't I, have chocolate. I then have what no is it? I no idea what that was. I've never heard of that. It, then it's not really a chocolate bar. There's oh, no it's, uh, you know, it's in the same thing. That will be a candy bar. I used to eat three uh, three musketeers like crazy. And then my local store that I would buy it off of didn't carry it. And then I started getting in on Mr. Big. Oh my god. Just pound them away. Pound them away. It's crazy. Crazy stuff. LB, it's not rigged. The uh, that's just how it is. Sorry if you can't handle great people winning. Is this one going to be rigged too? Possibly. Hello, Tukuya. How you doing, buddy? On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 735 pounds. Johnson. Johnson. The Grinders. Grinders. 18, 7, and 0. First time taking on the Disciples of Darkness. The source of their oil secretions is currently being studied by studied by Federation investigators. Hmm. I wonder where their oil does come from. Is it just does it do they just exude it? Just all of a sudden, like like if they go to clean themselves off, does, does it just go it's right back? You know, could they go like this and it just flicks out of their hands? Maybe it comes from their hands and they're just touching themselves all the time. Who knows? Do you know? I'm no scientist. Hmm. Maybe it comes from their pancreas or something. Pancreas? Oh boy. There is Sephiroth. One half of the newly formed tag team. The Disciples of Darkness. Disciples of Darkness! 
They are 1-1-0 one, one oh since forming a couple weeks ago. One day everyone will follow the cult. Well, you know, here at uh, our wrestling federation in the offices here, we take cult following very seriously. And uh, if it begins to impact our day-to-day -day ops, then uh, we're going to have to take steps to um, deal with any form of cult and cult worshipping, you know. What if we succumb without knowing it? I mean, we're only human. Don't give in to it. Hey, Sin, how are you doing, sir? How are you doing? Maximum bets only 500, my friend. Maximum bet is only 500. I'm going to limit you. Limiting you right down. Right now. Oh, there's Sephiratu. Oh my goodness. I'm not seeing enough bets on the grinders, unfortunately. I need to see more. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't bet on the grinders, I think you bet wrong. And betting is not closed. See, the yeah, timing is good on it now. It's not. It's not. It's not too bad. Love this. This was a former net champion. Vincent Johnson currently holds the Putin belt. And he'll defend that tomorrow. This this team is just full of winners. Wieners. Well, I mean, they do, you know. I've heard that on their pizzas, Vincent Johnson likes to deliver extra sausage. Legend 130 is now following. Welcome for... Welcome for... Welcome for to now. <laughs> <laughs> welcome for to now Words to follow. Are hard. Legend T130. Welcome for to now. Apparently, that's how we talk. Welcome for to now. comes Sephiroth. Now, Sephiroth, this is not his first tag team. He's been in one before, and they got split up, because apparently Sephiroth was hitting on uh, his tag team partner's wife. It's true. It's true. So they had to split up, and they went their separate ways, and uh, somehow Sephiroth and Nightmare Blackwell got together. Which is concerning. In terms of dealing with cults and all that nonsense, you know, we're we are in a time and/or space where cults shouldn't matter. You mean that there should be no cults? Yes, we are we are beyond that. We are in all times and all spaces. Oh, right there, Levis has almost won it. He hasn't even tagged in Vincent Johnson. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> Tags in Vincent Johnson. Of course, because that's how it works, right? Oh, my God. Sephiroth, how are you doing, buddy boy? Sin, we're, uh, sorry, we're doing well, uh, we had our front yard redone, and we were thinking it was going to be done on Friday, and it's not quite done, and, uh, I think it what should be done tomorrow, then. Should be done, but I think, uh, we might be waiting for the town or the region to come by and look at the water shot off valve. Um, no. No sod. Nope. <laughs> No, we just took, uh, they took a bobcat and uh, dug up all the sod and grass and all that and just get rid of Because they were it. dead. Because it was dead. And uh, we're just sick of looking at a yellow lawn. And uh, we put in half of a walkway. 
and so half is like a walkway and the other half is going to be mulch garden stuff so for now there's a couple tree a couple trees um, uh, but they accidentally hit the water shutoff valve which didn't have a cap on it ever since we were here we've been here for like 10 years so now they gotta go call them to make sure it's still okay and they just gotta put a cap on it and hopefully we should be good to go uh you're doing all right just messing around shadowlands beta ah uh, man like i've got the beta but i don't want to See, like, like he that's wants to be thing. surprised. Like that's the thing. I want to play the beta, but I also want to be surprised when it's live, right? Because I don't want it. Like I don't want to go through quests and stuff and be like, "Oh, this is bug. This is bug." Blah 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 blah. I kind of want to immerse myself, but then I also want to test it out too. But I can't do both, right? Most of the surprises are blocked. Hmm. Well, you're talking about, like, video surprises and stuff, right? Then I just skip all the cutscenes? Okay. Uh, Pre-patch will go in September? Yeah, I think late September. If not... Yeah, I think late September. Because they also sent an email saying, hey... Time, time's ticking. You better get all these mounts and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yes, Alpha. Yep. Now, our guesses for when it was going to go live, we were, like, betting in de December. <laughs> when it actually will happen? Yeah, when, well, not when 9.0 will go live, but when the new expansion stuff will go live. So leveling from 50 to 60. Because when we go from 8.3 that we're at to 9.0, that's when the level 120s will get squished down to 50. So we have only a few more weeks left to get our characters up. What are we at right now? 78, 77. Can we do that? Yeah, we could. We just got to play. Like we gotta play. Like we gotta play every day, and then we'll get it. We should minimum four to five weeks, and pre-expansion patches can be even longer. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is a big patch, right? Like it's got a lot of stuff. Stop playing the game. We got tired of the corruption. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, Legion and VFA. I didn't really buy into the to the power stuff and. I, I just did my own thing, and now I'm playing catch-up, because I'm trying to uh, do better at my Mythic Blesses, because I've got six more Mythic Blesses left to do, or, or Mythic Plus 15s, to get that mount that's going to go away, so I'm now I'm trying to play it more to not be such a carry. Huh? S <laughs> not to be such a you to be such a carry i don't like being carried right okay so because it's I almost as if you call me a karen wow no 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 wow vincent johnson just staring longly down at nightmare nightmare's backside it looks like if you look <laughs> yes. at look he's looking right down at the backside if i were stakuya i would be worried <laughs> He's thinking of banishing the cult. <laughs> that way. It's possible he could be thinking of uh, bringing out uh, the La Salsicha Grande. It's possible. Nightmare is fighting back, though. <laughs> Why are they pausing? Because Nightmare is just looking longingly into Vincent eyes and he's like you know what buddy no if he's if you if you want to join this the cult, cult okay <laughs> maybe maybe he is he could be willing to do anything to make people join the cult uh oh there we go sister Ab abigail i guess this breaks it up 
He's looking down thinking, hey man, those squats are really <laughs> making a difference. <laughs> okay. I have to... You have to remind me. About what? Where, write it down. I've got to... Sh you've got to... Sh I've got to show you the butt picture. Huh? Oh, who? Butt Jeff. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So there's a butt Random. gif I found that I was showing to Seraphus. And one butt cheek has a guy on it, and the other butt cheek has a uh, girl on it, and the person clenched their butt cheeks, and as they clench, the, they, they kiss each other. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting to show that to you. Was it a tattoo? Sort of. I think I think it was just like drawn on. I I don't think it was a tie. Man, this match has been going a while. I don't know oh. if it was as long oh. as the first one. Look at that! Look at that! Levistus just uh -oh. picked him up and threw him outside the ring. Is he gonna get counted out? Now, that's a great teammate right there. Um, you saw Nightmare was about to start channeling his inner creepiness, <laughs> and Levistus is like, no, just grabbed him by the head and threw him out of the ring. And oh, now he just Levistus tagged gets him. tagged in. Oh, oh and Nightmare uh -oh. tried to grab him. And oh, Levistus now they're is both like, up. nope. Is this going to be a draw? I hope not. <laughs> It'll be another draw. I mean, draws happen. It's not like 2K20 where the countouts are ridiculous. Oh, no. It's, it's a Cobra Clutch right there. Now, I heard that if you lose to the Nightmare's submission move, then you join the cult. Like, I heard that. I don't know if that's true or not, but perhaps, but we, because we've never seen Nightmare Blackwell t face his tag team partner, so why did Sephiroth join the cult? I mean, they're technically not the cult, but you know, he's, he's pretty much in there. Johnson with the cover. Nightmare's not done. Oh, Sephiroth came out and was like, hey man, what's up? What's up? I'm just taking a little stroll in the room. Oh, here we go. Happy ending. Bam. See you later. Did he get cut? It's possible. Nightmare's not done. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent Johnson, you just gotta love him. He's like, hey. La, he la did salsicha get cut. grande. He did? Yeah, in the forehead. Well, I think a little bit of blood won't hurt. Like it won't it won't disturb Nightmare Blackwell. He uh you know, I believe he uh, enjoys the flavor of his own blood. Yikes. No! Really? Oh my goodness! Nightmare Blackwell pins Vincent Johnson. Not rigged. What ridiculousness is that? This does not bode well for Vincent Johnson on, on, on Monday. What hot garbage was that? Disciples of Darkness are your victors? The Vistas had like a hissy fit. Here are your He's winners, got chest hair Mayor like Blackwell on, on a house. Hasselhoff off level. <laughs> Better him than Robin Williams. I I think they're both at the same level. No, I think Robin Williams had more. Okay, this one we gotta keep track of pins and stuff. Okay. Allow multi betting for this when it shows up. There we go. Okay, so this is our pretend belt qualifier. The winner of this will take on uh, Sporty Spice to see who will hold the pretend belt. 
And the winner of that will take on the Baker at SummerSlam for the Canadian Championship. Roselet did lose the Putin belt to Sporty last week, so she gets a berth uh, and, uh, and she'll have to earn a sh earn a rematch. Uh, I am going to bet on Dazzling Moon Daisy. Multi betting is allowed, so you can do multiple bets. No. No. This is not music to dance to. Wow. This is my dance, though. It's just the shoulders. That's all I do. No one can see you move your hips. Like Shakira. I. There's just so many. So many things, Carrie. <laughs> Uh-oh. Whoa, did you see that? That was weird. Yeah, even dead it on stream, too. Oh, no shout out. Making her way no. to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Again. Canada. Rose. Roselet, owned by Sun 2, has been in one of these four-way elimination matches, and she won it. Probably how she got into the gauntlet. She aspires to be a pro gamer. Really? Is that true? I mean, it must be. Right? It's a fun. It's a fun fact. Or it's a true fact. So that would mean that's the career. Great. <laughs> Instead of a regular nine to five job. That's okay. That's okay. Burn your millions. From the edge of reality, Moon Daisy. Dazzling Moon Daisy is one in three. Has over thirty thousand casts and still doesn't have the great C ray. That's true. I wish her all the luck in the world to get that damn mount. So when she actually gets it, you're going to delete this fun fact? I don't know. I would maybe change it. To maybe say it, it took X amount of years yeah. to get the great C Or rate. maybe I'd say it took X amount of casts. And from New York, the lunatic Diana Trey. That is Lou, 3 4 0 and 4 way elimination matches. Only urinates once a day. I didn't make that up. It's, 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 that's a fun fact? Not fun for her bladder. I know. Boy, oh boy. I don't know what I would do if I could, if I only went once a day. That would. You'll save on water. Well, toilet, yeah. And sewer usage. Yeah. And from Cleveland, Ohio, the rock star. They bill you for water coming in, and they bill you for water going out. Man. Candy Mandy 140. So, uh, quite a few people. Apparently, that's not her real hair. So, is she bald? I mean, if she's bald, that's okay. I, I didn't really think she'd have to hide it. I didn't really think that's something to be. You know, I mean, I'm bald. And I flaunt it proudly. There we go. So, this is an elimination match. Can we do it here instead? I don't know. Maybe we can do it here. Hmm.
thinking. Oh, Candy. What the? <laughs> candy Mandy. Looked like she just missed it. Oh, there it is. she didn't miss that. Uh, Lou is a former world champ. And Roselet was a former Canadian champ? Yes. And Baker Beater, keeping it in the family, that's not rigged at all. Not rigged. Nope. Not at all. Sun Tzu's still mad. <laughs> he is still mad. Because <laughs> he comes up here and he gives us the frowny face. Because <laughs> he's so tough like Bob. Yeah. Candy Mandy and Dazzling Moondays are going outside. Lou, what is Lou doing? What the heck is that? Maybe that move is called the Urinator. Because that makes people go once a day. Oh, rolls out the small package. My god. So Jeffy's only been... Whoa, Jeffy! <laughs> Whoa, dude. What is up with that? Into a Boston Crab. Wow, what's Jeffy's like shocked? My God. <laughs> oh, Lou. I mean, Jeffy can be pretty creepy at times. Maybe that's why he gets hit down, knocked, knocked about. Knocked around, knocked up, and then knock, knocked down, knocked right upside the head so many times. He's just too close. He was up there as if he was using arid extra dry. Yeah, you know the commercial? Extra dry? Yeah, arid. Get a little closer. Don't be shy. Are they still Get around? a little closer. Use air and extra dry. Damn marketers. Got that in my head. No? I don't remember that. I mean, I haven't heard it for ages. I remember hearing it as a kid. They probably got bought out. And then they discontinued the brand. Well, who is air even owned by? Is it like Gillette? I don't know. Oh no, Rose! Oh, Roselet is gonna make Lou do her one urination with a super duper pooperplex. <laughs> That's what we call it. It's a pooperplex from the top rope, rope down to the stone floor. My God, I think I may see a stain. I'm not sure though. Could just be shadow. My lord. Oh man, Moon Day is getting doing some vicious kicks on Candy Mandy. Do they usually stay in the pairs that they started? Nope. With? They'll switch up every once in a while. Has it been a while? Yeah, they'll switch up. They will switch up. Oh. Only a one count on Candy Mandy. That's unfortunate. It is fortunate. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I, I don't know if... Like, Candy Mandy was doing well, and then she's had her ups and downs. And Moon Daisy has is one of those... I think she's going to be a similar wrestler, where she's won some and lost some, but never won enough to qualify for bigger matches and like she's been in some of them but when she gets into those bigger matches she doesn't do much of it it's just a matter of time so i think she's due oh, oh no. there we go dazzling moon daisy pins oops pins candy mandy Candy Mandy has been eliminated. By who? 
by Dazzling Moon Daisy. Moon Daisy. See, I could go, go back to sleep. It's 11.25. Excuse me. I know. I could go back to sleep. Sleepy times for Old Stone. So we posted up some more pictures of the garden. And uh, there's teeny tiny little baby bell peppers. Teeny tiny ones. And teeny tiny cherry tomatoes which we thought were not going to make it because of dumb frost we had in March yeah but there's a plant growing in the cherry tomatoes that I'm not sure what, what the heck it is it could be some of the peppers that we had planted because I planted scotch bonnet and jalapeno and then you bought some other spicy pepper. I don't know which one that was. Some other kind. And we planted that too, and I don't know if it's really done anything. Jeffy, what are you doing, man? Moon Daisy kicks out. I'm pretty sure Moon Daisy is gonna is gonna win this match. She's gonna beat Sporty Spiced on Tuesday night. And then she's gonna beat the baker at SummerSlam. I'm nah. gonna be looking at the Canadian champion right there. Nah. Yep. Looking for the submission. Look at, look at the torque, eh? Really powers out of it. Yeah, just keep yeah, just keep uh SummerSlam for us will be next Monday, so a week from tomorrow. So what I usually try to do is have our free previews the Monday after WWE has theirs, roughly. Uh, next year, it will just be based on uh, maybe a similar set schedule as what we did this year. It just kind of depends. Uh, but this year, for sure, SummerSlam will be... Um, so we have SummerSlam on August 24th, Clash for the Cosmos, September 28th, Hell in a Cell, October 26th, Survivor Series, November 30th, and Tables, Ladders, and Chairs on December 28th. And then we get into 2021, where I have the schedule set for that too. So I'm good for like up to the up to the end of 2021. Now they're outside. Pinfalls and submissions cannot happen outside the ring. He's just going to bring her back in. Give her a little pounding. Take out Roselip. From the Putin belt holder. Here we go. That's going to be it for Roselip. Oh, Lou is like, no, I'm going to take care of Moon Daisy. Moon Daisy's now going to take care of you. <laughs> Chump. Roselip can just take a break. Also, uh, yeah, there we go. Ding dong. Oh, Moon Daisy. Uh, I mean, it looked like Roselet was going to yeah. go in and steal it. Only a two count. Oh. Who is she going to get? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> and Sun 2 is probably watching this like. What? What the, what the hell? Garbage. <laughs> what garbage is that? Although he doesn't say that. I don't think I've ever heard him say garbage. That's just garbage. Oh, guillotine. Yikes. Oof. Ooh, that might pin. be it for Lou. And with a chin lock. Yep, and with a chin lock. I don't know. Moon Daisy's not... I don't think Moon Daisy... No, she's, she's just gonna stand. Just no, because you know it doesn't it doesn't help her out to break to break to break that up. She's being smart. There we 
go again. She's going to do it once more. Night, night. Lou is now, has now been dazzled. <laughs> as Rosa just looks and is like, what the hell, dude? Finish the job. Rosa's just watching. Like, I'm just standing here. I'm going to be a bystander. Well, she's going to regain her health. Oh, no. Lou with the disarmor. What the heck? What's Jeffy doing? Jeffy's trying to get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> she's like, I don't want any part of this nonsense. Let me get the heck out of here. What the? Oh, wow. Okay. And then she rolls and out? She rolls out. That I think makes she no took, sense. I think she took uh, a little bit of damage there. She didn't hit it cleanly. Maybe that's uh, one of the reasons why she hasn't won a championship. You know? she, she hasn't hit her moves cleanly. Maybe she's spending too much time doing, like, hands... Dance and stuff. Or maybe spells. Mm. Ooh, Jeffy. Jeffy, Jeffy, Jeffy. Oh. If that doesn't put Lou out, I don't, I like, I, I just, well, I can't Well, Daisy just went back mm. in. There we go. Lou just got saved. What the? <laughs> she went off of the bottom boat. <laughs> not the, not, like, top and second row. Just the bottom. Are we fight back with those Doc Martens? I miss my Doc Martens. Like, I know that you never had a pair, but man, they were a expensive. Oh, they no! Dazzling Moon Daisy submitted. There goes your pick. There goes my pick. Oh... Oh, my pick is gone. We're down to Lou and Roselet. I mean, the the last pinfall has got to be happening soon. They must be They're dead both tired. tired. Yeah, they have been going a while. They are fighting for the shot to take on Sporty Spice. Oh, backbreaker! I mean, that'll make somebody go pee in their pants. Oh, also, um, LB, uh, uh, told me about this game that he plays. Don't poop your pants. I'm gonna tell you, it is, like, one of the best games you can ever play. It's an amazing game. It took me three tries before I learned how to not poop my pants. It's crazy. <laughs> I, I poop, I poop my pants twice. Unfortunately, that's just, I guess that's just, that's just how it goes, right? There's the kicks out. I bet you Sun 2 is just waiting for it, for, you know, if, <laughs> he's just waiting for him to win, so he's going to run upstairs and do a stupid dance. I don't even know if it's actually casting, because I didn't check. Yeah. I did cast it, so... Well, if, if, if the thing is on there, then it should say. Yes, yeah, it's playing on basement, but sometimes it's weird. Yeah. And they say, that it's just true. on the screen. What? what do you mean it's just on the screen? Like the Twitch... Oh, I see. ...ready screen. Oh, well, there we go. Roselet looking for the victory in a rematch. Nope. A little bit more. I don't know how Lou is able to fight back. I mean, I think they're both dead. Mm -hmm. Who's deader? <laughs> deader? Yes. Deader, deader? D -E -D -E Ooh, what a headbutt. Deader. Like a, like they owe money? No, I said D-E-D-E-R. Oh. Detor? Deader. Roselet fighting back. We fighting back. Oh, Roselet doing a little flip. Man. Good 
good gravy. I mean, we've got two former champions. One is a world champion, one is a uh, Canadian champion. It's funny, a lot like the women's championship belts was only defended. Oh no, Sling Blade, that's going to be it. Where is she going? Takes her away from the ropes. Yep. I think that's going to be it. There you go. Roselitz. We'll move on. Wait for it. Because there's always like a little bit of a lag delay. To take on Sporting I hear the Spice in a rematch. Yay! Hey. Careful of the bookshelf too. <laughs> Still in his jammies. Terrible. He's dancing like Roselet would. <sighs> Look how long this dance is. Nobody bet on Roselet. <laughs> well, I had to bet for on Candy Mandy, so. I well, I didn't even write it down. I, I did it on, okay. this, on the spreadsheet. Okay. There's our last match of the segment will be the internet battle royal the winner here will move on to monday night to take on the internet champion which uh was sarge sarge won it sarge did won he pull it. zinda he did pull a zinda sarge pulled a zinda See if we can do it like that. Uh, I am gonna bet on myself. This is 800. Multi betting is allowed. It is allowed. ended damn it my bad what it's okay no stream's not ended okay <laughs> i'm just being stupid i started using the uh using my numpad see that's one drawback of how i <laughs> of how i do my shortcuts i use my numpad but i also use it for number entry so i'm yeah the this is two and six Nine eliminations. He auditioned for Pulp Fiction. He was not gimp enough, apparently. I hope Sun One is out of bed. Yeah. And from the pits of hell, weighing in at 325 pounds, the Reaper. It is Blood Rage, owned by Sun Number One. You can't sit in that 300 pound limited chair. Correct. He would break. He would break my chair. Weighing in at 250 pounds, the 
giant killer. Here is Sir Garrick. He is not won a battle royal. He's 0 for 12. 10 eliminations. Perhaps this is the day. Perhaps this is the day. Did you jinx him? It's possible. I could have jinxed him. I jinx everybody. I'm sorry, but not really. Come on, 2K, don't crap out on me. No? Why? It totally goes with the music. No? From every man's nightmare, weighing in at 250 pounds, Draven. There is Draven, owned by Impact Legacy 95. He's 0 for 2 in Battle Royals. He is a relative newcomer. Apparently, Sting and Sting have been seen in the same room. And did they fight it out? I don't know. I don't think so. I think they were good friends. There can only be one Sting. So, so who would win. you pick? The the wrestler Sting or the mu or the mu or the musician Sting? Which one would fight, or which one would win? I don't know. Probably wrestler Sting. Because musician sting is all about peace. Not but maybe fighting. that's just a front, right? It could it could it could just be a front? I don't know. Here he is. We have plucked the Macho Man at his prime, at his peak. I didn't know his shades were on his rope, too. Yes. And sometimes he'd have tights where the shades are on his bum. It is the Macho Man, Randy Savage. 0-10, oh, unfortunately, in Battle Royals. Perhaps... Today is the day where he will win his, his first Jinxing game. it again. And he's supposedly your favorite wrestler, too. He is my favorite wrestler. Shouldn't say anything. Womp womp. Who did you bet for? Oh, I bet for myself. Okay. Because Levistus is the best wrestler that we have here. Except for Stone. He is the best. It's funny, all of the best wrestlers are mine. Yeah, because it's not real. <laughs> He's a black belt jinxer. <laughs> and from Biloxi, Mississippi, weighing in at 270 pounds. The hero, Marvin Hercules. Now, Roadblock, owned by Wolfpack from the year 6991, is 2-10 in Battle Royals. He has taken on the internet champion twice before and lost. Perhaps today is the day where he wins and then beats Sarge. And knock that would be Zinda out of there. So, military guy versus military guy? 
G.I. Joe versus military guy. Oh, G.I. Joe's not a military guy? They are, but they're special. They're, they're G.I. Joe. They are like the best of the best. It's true. It's true. Yo, Joe. Whoops. Oh, what did... Ah, God damn it. I did, did that. I did that. Although I kind of like that screen more, the full the full screen. There we go. And yeah, I feel like I got Dallas, more space. Texas, weighing in at 186 pounds, Jake. There is Jake, owned by Jake98411. That's a crazy year, and he's gone back to go play FIFA 20. I think that was one of the best games that they ever came out with before World War III started. It's true. When was World War III? The end of 2020. Because, as far as I know, that's the only way that this year is going to get worse. <laughs> or, wait, that's the only way that the year 2020 was going to get worse. Because Jake is 0-1, goes on a coffee and Taco Bell cleanse once a week. <laughs> Yikes. Oh my god. Fight garbage with garbage. Oh, good lord. My lord. Oh, boy. It's either that or prune juice. <laughs> the advent will come soon. I mean, it's either that or uh, we can expect uh, UFOs to be dropping out of the sky and be like, hello. Hi, everybody. Whoops. Just two. 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 Who's Zorts the goblin? Two? two. I don't know. Means maybe I think Zorts is number two. Oh, because that's not the, good. Because he's because I'm number one. And Zorts the goblin does have his own wrestling federation. Look at that wrestling. It's my very good buddy. He's sleeping right now. <laughs> the higher Piccolo can be the end of it. I don't know who Piccolo is. What? Who is... Who's Piccolo? I don't know what that is. What are you talking about? It's a Piccolo. I mean, Piccolo in Italian is small. Means, yeah. <laughs> He's small. There we go. So it's a Goblin 1 and 6? Alright. So I want you... Oh, are we Dragon Ball Z? Okay, so that's something I never got to watch. Because I think when it came out, I was out of TV stuff, and I was more hanging outside a lot, like a lot more than I did when I was younger. Uh, so I never, like, all that I know is that one of our wrestlers has Goku hair. Right? Yeah, if, well, if you were born in 1989, as I assume your uh, Twitch baby. handle is, then... Then uh, yeah, you you geezers, you, you, you would have grown up with that <laughs> the same way that I grew up with Transformers and Thundercats and GI Joe. Oh, Blood Rage got knocked out by who? Jake, it looks like. Jake? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. So I know that there was like Transformers, like Beast Wars and all that, but I never got into that because I was say it. Piccolo. Oh, it's Piccolo. So I'm reading it as Piccolo. Piccolo because that's how you say it. So in Ita in in Italian. La oh Vista. no, there goes Lavis as Jake again. again. <laughs> Holy moly. It's Piccolo. Okay. Is that the guy with like the crazy hair or is that or is the crazy hair Goku? No, that's Goku. Right. I think okay. it might be the bald guy. But okay. I'm not sure. I've kind of. Whoa, wait. Macho Man got rid of something? No. One, two. No. No, no. There's okay. six people no, no, no. left. Like, I wouldn't mind to watch them if I could find. Uh, like, are they on Netflix right now at all? Like, does anyone know? Because right, right now I'm watching Ghost in the Shell. I am just... Oh, there goes Roblox by Draven. 
Um, I'm watching Ghost in the Shell almost at the end of the first gig. First first season. Um, where the army attacks Section 9. It's like, oh, like, oh my goodness. Uh-oh, Zorts eliminates Jake. Uh, that was my pick. Did I? Oh, I bet on Levis. Oh, there goes Zorts. Sir Garrick just bet on, just eliminated Zorts. I was going to say, Zorts might actually win this one. And Sir Garrick was like, nope. Maybe Macho Man's going to win this one. Uh-oh. So I don't have to record anything. You're right. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm, well, I was, yeah. Um... Sir Garrick, <laughs> look at Jake and Zorts are going to go walk to the room <laughs> like, oh, oh, there goes Draven. Holy moly, Sir Garrick has eliminated Draven. We're down to Macho Man and Sir Garrick. Can you imagine if Macho Man won this, took on Sarge and beat Sarge? Stranger things have happened, Macho oh, Man! Oh, you oh. called it. I should have bet on Macho Man. Do you not bet on anybody? I bet on myself. Oh yeah. I usually only bet on myself if I'm. And you were match. the second one out. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for reminding everybody. I appreciate yeah. that very much. They need to know. Knowing is not half the battle in this case. It's it's zero. It's a hundred percent the no. battle. Here is your Congratulations, winner. Macho Man. Yeah, it was so quick compared to the tag team match. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how quick it was. Uh, could be one of our shorter ones. I'll know tonight because I usually go back and watch the matches and record how long each one is for our records. All right. Macho Man is your winner. I don't think anyone bet on Macho Man. Nobody bet on him. Okay. We have got um, yes, this one's okay to do. Okay. So tickets are gonna be drawn very shortly. This is the one of your last chances to get a ticket. The first ticket is gonna be free. Every ticket after that is uh, 250 pebbles. You didn't want to bet on him and jinx it? Aww. All right, let's go to the next show. Yes, let's get my match card up here. All right. Uh, so with tickets, you just um, do, et, do exclamation mark ticket. And if you want to buy just one, then you don't put a number. If you want to buy more than one, you put a number after it. So space and then five, if you want to buy five. Uh, so first ticket's free. Every ticket after that is 250. If you get drawn, uh, you have a minute to pipe up in chat. And what you're going to do is that you're going to select who will fight Venom today and She-Hulk. So we're having our boss battles today on Sunday because our number one matches are Monday and Tuesday. So, um, wait, so that means whoever wins gets to do both? No. So the person that wins will get will pick whoever fights Venom or She-Hulk, and then we'll draw somebody else, a, number, a second oh, person, and they will pick who fights the other person. All right, so we don't want to start the show. We want to edit the matches. We have got tag team match. Um, so it's a regular tag team match. But entrance is on, fast momentum. We have the Baker is going to get the start. Uh, we have also, oh yeah, the other thing that we didn't do in the announcements, uh, we've also discovered that you cannot cash in money in the bank when the champion has a manager. It doesn't let you. It's like, what? So we're going to put in a rule here to say that when you are the champion for a belt that has the money in the bank, which is only the main belts, um, 
your manager cannot come to ringside. So it lets the computer being able to have that chance to cash it in. Okay. There was good. a lot of testing to find that out. Yes. Uh, where is the Putin qualifier? But for the men this time, we have JC Martinez. We have LB Fraga. We have Eldrin the Butcher. And Hulk Hogan. All right. Shave and a haircut. Two bits. Shave and a haircut. Two bits. Okay. Then we have the Internet Battle Royale, but for the women this time. Uh, Adjua. Oh, there's, I mean, I don't think we should even bother doing the match. Adjua is just going to win this one. Mm-hmm. It's, she agrees with me, Alex Samuels. It was a sarcastic, mm-hmm. Didn't sound like it to me. Oh, somebody's tweeting at me. That's my Twitter sound. Oops, no. Velvet Dove. Not too far. Um, baby Rankster. The Scruffy Druid. Allure. Oh boy, Allure. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Zorts. <laughs> Poor Zorts. Uh, that looks good. Entrance is on. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, so these two matches here will be the boss matches. Uh, either Venom or She-Hulk. Whoever uh, gets drawn first will be able to pick who fights first. Um so we're not going to put these in right now. You know what? Let's do like, uh, let's just do it like this instead. Let's go like this and go. Oh, we can't put them both in there. Eh? Hmm. All right. Let's just put Venom in there for now. Cause that's how I have it on my match card. Okay. There. All right. So we're going to be doing our, where is X split? Where is my... X split. There it is. I'm gonna move that over here so you guys can see who is entering. Go like that. Go like that so you guys can see. All right. Uh, we'll probably be bye. We're probably bye 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 bye. Jeez. This is what happens when you don't have any food. <laughs> Probably, probably. I can't even talk. <laughs> two fifteen, or two sixteen, around in there. So right now it's two ten on this on the screen. We'll probably be back for two sixteen. So, <laughs> um, get your tickets now because as soon as we're back, we'll let it go to the top of the minute, and then we'll draw, and there's and everything will be closed. And uh, you need to say something in the chat to let me know that you're here. There will be some exclusions um, for the men. You cannot pick Demon Rissica, Sephiroth, Levistus, or Swinger, or Stone because. It's a champion and the four people that are already in this match tomorrow. And then for the women, you could not pick Lita, Madison Windraker, Roselet, Sporty Spice, and Lady Red. Uh, or who's who's the champion? Um, Sarah the Necromancer. You can't pick her because she won the belt. So that's uh, so there are some exclusions because those those wrestlers are already in those matches. So. All right, we're going to head out. We'll be right back, uh, probably, I guess, at the 217 mark. Two, 217. Sure. Around, around in there. Get up. 
in stretch. Okay, so we're going to try and tweak K 
Carrie's headset microphone a bit. Hey, Dave, how are you doing? See, look, sup, champ? See? See, kids? Somebody recognizes. I've been trying to get the kids to call me champ like for like the whole week, and they don't want to. So which side? This side? That side, yep. Yep. Okay. All right. I, hold on. There we go. Okay. Thank you, Grim. Thank you, Alpha Reaper. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's not good. You just coughed right into the mic. That's not good, dude. You're, you're dead. Stop touching your mic. What are you doing? There. Okay. Oh, you know what I think happens? When you swivel it up, it turns off. So you can't hear me? Swivel it up. Can you hear me? Nope. Can you hear me? Nope. Oh, no. Nope. There Can you, you hear go. me? Yep. Well, at Anyways. what point does it cut out? I don't oh, know. Here. There. Okay, here we go. Stop playing with the mic. I can hear it. Um, okay. What are we doing? You're too far over. Okay. We are going to be doing... Oh, we're going to be doing... I'm, I'm, I'm dead? Oh, okay. <sighs> you don't blame them. You're a dad or old fogey or whatever to them. No, I am the champ. They I'm don't the say old where I get, Hey, you are oh, big sausage or dad. Yeah, you're deaf, man. We hear fine. Oh, oh, well, I am going deaf, so there's that too. What are you gonna do? Um, okay, we are gonna do the draw. So, last chance for tickets. We're gonna do the draw when the stream gets to the 220 mark. The first person we draw will select who will fight either Venom or She-Hulk. I'll give you a list of exclusions. Um, you can go to the website, uh, look at the list of Titans or Paragon wrestlers, and see who you want to put in there against either Venom or She-Hulk. Okay. Uh, what are we at on the stream? We're at 35. Bing, bang, 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 bang. So I want to do like what uh, Nighthawks does. He does a really good job at switching between scenes and wrestling and wrestling matches where he's got like a thing where like just music playing. But I don't know if I want to play your theme song over and over because sometimes it can get annoying. Um, all right, here we go. We're going to draw. Close the giveaway. Draw winner. Big Sausage. Big Sausage. I have to look at the list. Okay. So Big Sausage. All right, there we go. So he's in chat. So who, which boss do you want to set? Do you want to do Venom or She-Hulk? And when you pick that, I'll tell you a list of wrestlers that you can't pick, and then you just pick somebody that's not them. Okay, so he's going to do Venom. All right, so you cannot pick Demon Rissica, Sephiroth, Levistus, The Swinger, or Stone. Anybody else on the singles roster is fair game. Even yourself, but you don't even have to, like, you don't have to pick yourself. You can pick anybody that's on the singles roster, but most people usually pick themselves unless it's like LB or Maddie B. They usually pick each other's wrestlers because they want to be nice with each other. Like they're such good friends. like to see the pale guy all right abaddon it is okay <laughs> except for that color patch that he has okay uh i 
I know you guys can't see what I just did, but Abaddon got picked. And now we're going to go to the next match. <laughs> the pale guy. Um, and She-Hulk. Okay. So we're going to draw again? We will draw again. Draw another winner. Carrie Bakes. Yeah. Is Carrie here? I don't know if I've seen her say anything in the chat. We might have to draw somebody else. No. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Let's mark it as complete. All right. So I have to pick a woman. I'm going to pick... Um, let me pull this down now. We don't need this Maddie one. Hunter. Wow. Um, let me just double check. Uh, can't pick Lita. Madison Windraker. What did I just say? <laughs> Roselet. I know. I'm just going through. Swarry Spice, Lady Red, or Sarah the Necromancer. Ah. So, Maddie Hunter. Yes. Okay. Did she ever go against Venom? I mean, not Ven Well, Venom at the Venom time. Venom at the time? Yes, I think she has. I don't think she's won, though. All right. <laughs> we are not about the rigging. You have to follow all the rules that everybody else does. Oh, can't have She-Hulk fight She-Hulk. What am I doing? <laughs> Maddie Hunter, where is she? There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, Abaddon just walked behind me and photobombed you. <laughs> He's not a ghost. I don't know. It could be. Okay, so that's that. We're good to go. And let's start. Last five matches. And we shall move closer to our summer slam. <laughs> it's the Witcher. We have sugar and spice taking on the mass holes. Okay. Hey, Adams, how you doing, buddy boy? I am going to bet against this one. Of course one. you are. Because now apparently it's a thing where... Like, they, like, they, like they're just anti-dad because, you know, I'm just so great. Doing You're well? Just so how rigged? Are you I am doing good. I don't know about her. Adams is asking how you were doing. I'm doing okay. I have to sew 16 more face masks for the kids so that they can wear it at school. Because yep. we're going to make them go to school. But she, but Carrie's a pro at the match. She just it takes a long flies time. Through. It's true. On the way to the ring, but by Stone we could just do Baker, a wash of them Madison at the end of the Hunter. week, and that's why I wanted multiple, so we didn't have to wash it every single day. Sugar and spice, sixteen and twelve. That is true. So, yeah, you know what? It's funny, big yeah. sa big sauce. Sa we um, usually we take a picture of the kids the first day of the year and the last day of the school year, right? And this year we didn't get a last day because our last day of the school year here was the day before March break. Yep. <laughs> That's it. And never went back to school after. <laughs> Only to collect their things. March break at the, ever. At the classroom. Yeah. And even then, that was like very short and it was supervised. That is Captain Marvel. Sarah the Necromancer. Oh my goodness. She is a world champion. She beat Lita last week. Sarah the Necromancer and the Captain Marvelous. 
There are the mass holes. They are 2-1-0. Their favorite vacation spot is Lake Chargogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogogog
<laughs> Deep. So then, uh, actually, that was a tag team championship match. A um, couple of free purviews ago, I think, the, against the Grinders. And the Grinders would have won that because the, the other team got DQ'd, but it was such a weird thing. It was more like a bug. Like, how do you DQ yourself by hitting your man? So we let the match... Re, like uh, we re-ran the match and Grinders lost. Controversial. Now Maddie Hunter here being in this match, I don't know if that's a good idea because she's going to uh, be taking on She-Hulk. Good gravy. Hey, and you didn't even pick yourself. What's up with that? Who do we do? Venom is going to take on Abaddon. And then she -Hulk is going to take on Venom Hunter. Oops. She Hulk's a boss. Hmm. Why is that not showing up there? Can you make a note to say Boss Tick is not showing up? Boss Tick? Boss Tick? T I C K? Not, not showing up. Weird. Oh, Stone's up on the apron, causing it a distraction. Otherwise, Maddie Hunter would have been done. And Hunter pushes off a full moon. I mean, I'm going to tell you that I appreciate a good full moon. It's up in the sky. It's beautiful to look at. Uh-huh. Not having any of this nonsense. Sarah the Necromancer is going to do her best to test out the turnbuckles and walk right into it. Belly to belly, that could be it. Ah, oh, Captain Marvel broke it up. We're still only at Jeffy being, getting nailed once. That's too bad. It's too bad. It's too bad. So sad. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. Why are there two wrestlers? Because <laughs> they're the having a brawl. <laughs> it is it Alpha Reaper. It is indeed Full Moon Madness. Is there one coming up? Um. I think uh, we would have just passed one. I think when I last looked, I think the full moons were happening around the beginning of the month. Oh, Maddie Hunter pins Sarah the Necromancer? Really? Wow. Here are your No replays, eh? Apparently they're like, yeah, huh? there wasn't anything here to... to nothing to, special. Nothing special, just sugar and spice taking it to the mass holes. All right. Sugar and spice are your winners, man. Four-way elimination match. Multi-betting will be allowed. The winner of this will take on uh, Vincent Johnson. Who holds the pretend belt. What am I going to bet for? I am going to bet for LB. 
sorry, Elby. Why you say sorry? Because it's more of a jinx. And oh. it's going to be like, thanks, that stone. I can hear his voice right now. Uh, th th thanks, stone. <laughs> Because he does this thing where he's like, oh, no, god. Right? <laughs> he's like, no. Oh, man, you don't have any much pebbles. I know I gave you some before. Yeah, well, he bet and lost a lot. How many do you have left? My lord. Making his way to the ring from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing in at 250 pounds. The Assassin, J.C. Martinez. It is the Puerto Rico Assassin, J.C. Martinez. Enjoys a good Puerto Rican taco for dessert. Hey, was he the one that took out... He took out Jeffy? At the battle... Yes, he is now going down as the guy that dropkicked Def <laughs> Jeffy. Just ran back right in the ring and drop kicked him. Because Baker did that one time too. Alpha, check check to see how many points you got because there's no minimum. So you could bet like one point if you wanted to. First time going to be in a four-way elimination match. For everyone. Nope. First against each other. Oh, no? for, well, because he's because he's new. Right. And his opponents first from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 180 pounds, L. B. Fraga. L. B. Fraga owned by Fraga Two's one and seven in four-way eliminations. He's the only one of two surviving siblings after the other 1,099 siblings died. That's a lot of siblings. But you know what that means? That there's a that he has a brother. Uh, what happened in the triple threat match? Um, I don't remember. I mean, what if LB Fraga's brother made a debut here? Grim pin tuxedo mask. Yeah, it was sad. Well, it's happy for Grim. Sad for Junkyard Dog and Tuxedo Mask who got pinned. Yeah, that's why I said sad. What would LB Fraga's brother's name be? And perhaps, you know, they could even tag team and take out one of our last two remaining tag team spots that are open. Maybe it'll be LB back. Imagine that, LB. LB, you could go create uh, your brother. Not twin brother. I don't, maybe they, maybe he is. Well, technically, if they're all born at the Bob same time. Weighing in at I don't know. Well, Grim the Butcher, 2 3 0. Oh, has faced LB Frog in one of these, so that one for one. He does the voiceover intro for our Titans show. That is true. Until we go make some more new ones, and then we're going to start cycling through. If you want to do a voiceover for the intro, um, I have in our Discord uh, under the About Wrestling, uh, one of the Chen. And those are, I have the. Um, I have the speech, and all that I need is somebody to record themselves doing that speech, and then I'll edit as best as I can and put you in there. And I believe Zorts owes me one. Owes you? Yes, he owes me. And Voodoo. Is gonna do one for me too. So when we get those, then we'll start cycling through. Hulk Hogan, 0 and 2 in four ring eliminations, was the first person to ever get out of Iron Sheik's dreaded camel clutch. 
because he always has to be the winner. And in that match, she won the championship. She became the champion for the first time. All right, this is an elimination match. Winner goes on to face Vincent Johnson tomorrow night for the pretend belt. The winner there will take on uh, Rustic Thor for the Canadian Championship at the Summer Slam. Was a Puerto Rico assassin. Now, out of all three of these wrestlers, LB Fraga, I think, would be the most successful. Sorry, out of all four of these, would be the most successful. Uh, he's a three time Twitch champion. Now, Eldrin has held the tag team championship, so that's a thing. But he's only held it once. Big DDT LB. LB is also known for his goggles. He's able to use them to look forward in time. So he knows who's going to win? Maybe. He also would know if his brother is ever going to make an appearance in here. Oh, wait, was it brother, or did we just assume it was a brother? You said brother. Maybe. Let, let's, let's go back to LB. Nope, I oh, said he's the only one of two surviving siblings. Oh, what if LB Fraga's sibling is... A sister? A sister. LB, I'm curious to know. I feel like you should fire open 2K19 right now. <laughs> Go make it. Make it happen. Isn't there a girl, girl version of LB somewhere? Yes. LB does a female version of himself for Voodoo Stream and Zorita Stream. So wouldn't that be the sibling? Maybe. I mean, we d and that that wrestler has green hair, and we, and we do know that there's a fun fact that Brown, as we see his hair color right now, that is not his real hair color. So he dies at it, brown. He dies at brown from being green. So maybe he just doesn't want people to see his green hair. And you know, I think we're in a time and age that you shouldn't be ashamed of how you look. Uh, I mean, at any time, right? You know, if you've got green hair, flaunt it, man. Maybe Fraga waiting for the right moment. And Eldrin is having a temper tantrum. Takes it out on Hulk Hogan. Ooh, the Hulkster just takes it. Gonna bring this back up. Big elbow drop a la Macho Man by Eldrin. Oh, I think the Puerto Rico assassin may have just killed LB. Uh, that's not good. LB kicks out. My lord. So who was it that you bet on? I bet on Eldrin. Eldrin the Butcher? Yeah. Hmm. What, what was I doing? Why did I do that? Okay, that's what I did. Never mind. Goldfish. Hulk Hogan, uh... <laughs> Hulk Hogan breaks up the pin attempt. And Eldrin picked, broke up Hogan's pin attempt. JC Martinez again. Whoa. Look at this count. Uh-oh. He's on LB pause. What the heck? LB is just frozen in time. I think <laughs> And so LB's, is Jeffy. <laughs> I think... But they're well, moving. Well, Jeffy is stuck. <laughs> I think LB's VR goggles may have broken, and because of that, some of the some of the 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 the, the chroniton particles uh, came out and began to affect time, 
<laughs> maybe time is just moving slowly oh, for maybe them. Maybe Eldrin is going to break it up. Oh, Eldrin he can. Maybe can do it. I don't know. I don't he know. Can't. We're going to see if they can get out of it themselves. Look how he's pushing being a potato. Them. Oh, no. Don't be a potato, Internet. It's okay, Alpha. <laughs> he can't grab them. Yeah, I don't think this is going to happen. <laughs> because what's going to happen here... Now, nothing's going to break it up. Well, I'm thinking that the only thing that's really going to happen here is if the two active wrestlers happen to do a move and knocks over Jeffy. Oh, or, okay. You know, because I think, because they've been close to each other. Now, here goes Hogan. We're going to see if Hogan can do anything. And if not, we might have to restart the match. <laughs> <laughs> Hogan's just looking at it. He's them. just looking at it. He's like, <laughs> Should I do anything? <laughs> What's going on here, brother? This doesn't quite compute. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, oh, okay. oh, oh, oh nope. no, it did nothing. <laughs> okay, well, that was going to be one thing. And uh, so I think what we're going to have to do is I am going to try to take control. I don't like doing this. Uh, let's just see if we can do that. To control. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's a rope break. It's a rope break, and they're not breaking out of it. Okay. And let's instead see if we can do something for LB. And no. Okay. So we're going to restart the match. A second time. Like, okay. How long have we ran for? We've run since the end of December. Okay, like a, last week. We've never had this happen where we've had where we've had an issue that we've had to reset the match <laughs> until like last week. Mm -hmm. So last so the last two weeks we've had these two issues where we've had to reset. It the was match. also tag team. It was tag team. Well, I think no, I thought it was, it was Brothers team. of Destruction. Okay. Oh, last last time it was tag team. Right. Yeah. Okay. So maybe it's your fault. Why is it my fault? Because we've never had this issue before until you showed up. All right, we're going to do... <laughs> That's so logical. Whatever. Okay, we're going to restart the match. Unfortunately, we don't really have any choice. Sorry. Here we go. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Just get... There we go. Now we're good. Don't be a hater. <laughs> I love her. I've been married to her for 16 years. Too long. Yep. I don't know why yep. I stick around. I don't. Oh, whoa, JC Martinez. <laughs> uh, that's okay. That's okay. I think uh, JC Martinez was about to assume the position. LB, if you're ever feeling like you want to bring in your brother or sister, just get her done and let me know. It's LB and Hogan going back and forth with the pin attempts. I don't think I've ever seen Hulk Hogan reverse a pin attempt like that. LB with the leap frog. Back brain kick couldn't take down Hogan. Hogan once again trying to break the VR goggles as everybody tries to do. Maybe Martinez was so close to breaking it, maybe he actually broke it. I mean, he's drop kicked Jeffy. He has done so many things that other wrestlers have not. Maybe Martinez is our future. Although. If time and space, if 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 we are at all times in all space, I guess there is no future. No, nope, it'll it'll just be present. It's, it's just right. <laughs> oh my goodness, Martinez is vicious. Holy crud! Oh, man. LB. <laughs> LB <laughs> trying to steal the pin attempt. And Hogan kicks out. Oh, God. 
Oh, oh, it looked like they kicked Jeffy. They did. Jeffy got a little bit of that side blow there. He got a, sorry, a grazing blow. It's a grazing blow. <laughs> Man, I am so hungry. There's an RKO. Elves are in for that cover. Hogan not done. Hulk Hogan! Did you hear it? It was thunder. It was thunder. <laughs> it's my stomach. Oh, Hogan just kicked out again. Holy moly. It is around lunchtime. And I did not... <laughs> Come on smoked down for some smoked turkey. <sighs> yes. With tons of gravy, please. Uh, Unless you mean smoked turkey deli meat, which I don't think you mean that. <laughs> Actual turkey. We have to wait till Thanksgiving, which is in October for us. Only two more months till Thanksgiving. You guys gotta wait for three months. Huh? A whole, whole bird. bird. We it's would fun. do a whole bird, but well, we have done it once. No, but just I mean, not a lot of people like the dark meat, so it'll be a waste. See, I prefer the breast meat. <laughs> so. We, we usually, though, uh, we usually buy a bunch of turkey breast and um, in a casserole dish, we put in... Um, not casserole. Not, not it's clear. a roasting pan. So it's a roasting pan. No, no, no. But we'll put in the stuffing. So usually what we do, we don't oh, do separate. it now, but we'll put, we'll put these stuffing into a casserole dish to cook. But we'll also put the turkey breast on top of it. No, we don't. We used to. Okay. <laughs> we don't do it anymore, but we used to. And so the juices will go down into it, right? We don't like tur turkey at all. We, you know, it's funny. We only eat turkey at Thanksgiving or Christmas. Maybe Easter. So Sometime it's like three times right. a year, possibly. We don't, ha we don't eat turkey. Unless it's j during those times, it's just one of those things. I I don't I don't know. We just don't. I to be honest, I prefer my turkey a little bit more dry than moist. <laughs> oh, Eldrin's cut open. A oh, Hogan oh, took Elby's pin. Hulk Hogan stole Elby's pen. It's too dry and you prefer chicken over it? I mean, I like chicken too. Well, it depends on how you cook it. Yeah. Because some people do overcook it and it does become dry. So, I, she likes gravy. And I like gravy. And so for turkey, because it's so dry, I... You know, I drench it in gravy, so I'm okay. So I'm so I'm okay with it, right? Carrie loves the gravy. I do. Oh, come on, LB Hogan, help him out! Help him no, out! No, he's just gonna look at him. LB, hang on, hang on, man! Don't make me lose my bet. There we go. Is it close one? Now I'm thinking about turkey. Thanks, Dave. 
So he puts it in a smoker, which we don't have. We don't have. I was just gonna say we don't have a smoker. Maybe that's the next thing that we save up for. No, we have get to get a gazebo first. Yes, we do need a gazebo. I am looking at a chair, Dave. Uh, there was a chair for two hundred dollars Canadian, but I don't know if it's weight class. You know, like it, like it can deal with my current weight. But you never know what's going to happen in the future, so I prefer it to be a little, can handle more. Um, ooh, JC Martinez just kicked up. Um, but, so I found one for 200 that's on sale. If I go up to the next weight class that's not on sale, like those ones are not on sale, it's 400. Like, man, man, so I'm close. So I'm, I'm... Oh, Jeffy got hit. Thank you, Alpha. Oops. Oh. Well, rip. Drop the pen. So there's my two. There's your two. We'll see if... Totally not paying attention. Because <laughs> you're talking about stuff. <laughs> Chairs. <laughs> Chairs. Uh, we, so, yeah, you didn't, I'm... You didn't find out what the weight class is? I went to Amazon to go look to buy it, and it said it was 300 pounds. So okay. I'm going to assume that's what it is, because they haven't gotten back to me. So I'm on the fence on pulling the trigger. I mean, it's only $200, so it's a lot cheaper than what I thought it was going to be. Um, and I believe I have the $200, so... Do it. I think what I would do is, uh... The people that donated, I'm gonna write their names on, like, the back of the chair, or maybe the front of the chair, maybe, like, a permanent... No! White, white, white marker. Don't write on the chair. Well, because they helped me get no, it, so I want to No, but you could put something like on top of it, like a sleeve, like a cover. Don't write on the actual chair. So are you going to make me a sleeve with their names on it? I could. That would be a lot of embroidery, which I have not done for decades. Oh, oh big slam. <laughs> Hogan. And Elby was like, no, I want a pin. Oh, Hogan's cut open. He's not new to that. Oh, my goodness, Elby. Nope. Hogan's is... is Fighting strong. LB is like trying his best. Now the Puerto Rico assassin trying to eliminate Hogan. There we go. We're down to two. Hulk. Hogan and LB Fraga back brain kick by LB Fraga perfected by fighter Hayabusa. What they just oh man just threw him down. Now isn't it funny that these were the two guys that uh, it messed up on before? So it was in their favor. Maybe, uh, maybe this was just meant to be. It was just supposed to be them. Oh, there we go. Poor LB. Poor LB. It's because of you. My fault. Because you bet on fault. him. It's not my fault. Did anyone bet bet on JC? Uh, I don't know yet. Nobody. Okay. Then. See. Yeah. Three of us bet on hell. Oh, I know. Here is your winner, the assassin. Alpha J bet on, Alpha bet J. on J. JC Martinez. There you go. Bam. JC Martinez will go on to face Vincent Johnson. Tomorrow night. Okay. 
We're gonna move on to our. Let me scooch into there. There we go. Move on to our internet battle royal. The women will compete this time. I don't have to write anything. Nope. Nope, because I'm gonna do it on my spreadsheet. Hmm. Here we go. Who oh. to bet? Adjwa's in there. That's your logical. No. Yes. Adjwa the Eliminator. It would be funny if Allure. Won. Allure is due. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> she is due. She is very, very due. Oh boy, the winner will take on. Why am I having? Why is my brain like a goldfish? Who is the internet champion? Sarah. No, Jazzy QT. Oh. Is the internet champion? I get all the belts mixed up. Are you saying there's too many belts? They're different, right? Because we're gonna be adding two more in there. Then it's more confusion. Universal title. Here we go. We're going to lead off with one of the best female wrestlers. This side of Lady Red. I mean, Lady Red is pretty much the top. No. Just keep watching the screen. This is just perfection. From the moment that she walks in to the ending where she pins whoever. She's just perfection. Making his way to the ring. Her way, Jojo. <laughs> Damn it, Jojo. She Maybe is... in this time and space there's no gender. Maybe. We're just used to seeing him and yeah. her. Well, they've plucked us from the year 2020. We're kind of in that. Yeah. Now draws 0-1-5. She once ate 10 cheeseburgers in a single sitting. I want some cheeseburgers. I would love a Baconator. That's not a cheeseburger. I would love a Baconator right now. Yes, please. No, we can't have that. Why not? It's like 900 calories. I don't care. This not if you want to the fit weekend, into that chair that's 300 The weekend 300 is cheat day. The weekend's cheat day. Weekends are cheat day. I'm probably going to drink the Dr. Pepper. Oh. You don't have to. You just leave it. It's not open. And from Edinburgh, Scotland, Alex. Where is Alex Samuels 0 and 8 in Battle Royals? The ring of tires to show her love for her homeland. Yes, she is from Scotland. Owned by a Kari Mag co-host of the Azeroth Coast to Coast podcast. Got to met this meet I've got to met this guy. Got to meet this guy in real life. A jalapeno crisp burger. Mm. Too spicy. I love the spice. Just bring it on. Uh, we made chili one time, and it kind of went overboard, even for me. <laughs> like, every bite you took was like, oh my god. Mouth is on fire. Oh man, are you going to do it? Come on, 2K. There we go. One of our last three female refer Berlin, referees. Berlin. Female non player owned wrestlers. Here, finally, somebody that's actually won a battle royal here. She's won uh, one out of six. Only three eliminations, though. Where did my water go? Oh, I, I probably left didn't... it on the counter. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. 
She's the best date ever, apparently. I saw somebody hold up a sign. Yay, Baroness. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We are talking about wanting somebody that had a win. Violet Dove. Velvet Dove has got three wins out of ten. Twelve eliminations. She originally considered pursuing a career in MMA with that exact outfit. Velvet Dove is a two-time champion, like the big, like the big girl championship belt. Former co-holder of the tag team belts. Makes her submit every time they fight each other. It's crazy. You need to pull back that stat and see. Because it's just insane. She doesn't like it, but it's a true fact. You want to go to the shed right now? I mean, shed doesn't look too bad. There's Baby Ranksta 0-4 in Battle Royals. She has the most lethal booty in all of professional wrestling. That's true. More than Swinger? I don't know. You know, if 2K would let us do it, we would have a baby Rangsta versus Swinger match a in off. a <laughs> booty versus booty match. <laughs> or booty versus beauty. <laughs> Who's who? Well, who is who? Yeah. Are you calling the Swinger beautiful? When, wasn't is, he like the ladies is man? He, is he your favorite wrestler? No. I don't have a favorite wrestler. Really? What about Lady Red? No, but... she's the bottom of the barrel. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Bottom of the vodka barrel. Okay. Still vodka. <laughs> vodka. It's vodka. And here is a relative newcomer. And from Pangea. There is the Scruffy Druid owned by the Scruffy Druid. The one one in Battle Royals, relative newcomer. Uh, silver just excites her. Oh my. Oh Not my. gold? I don't know. Perhaps she's a werewolf. And it just excites her. It doesn't actually hurt her. Okay. Maybe. Scruffy Druid, I got to meet her in real life. She was actually playing Legend of Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild. She's a lot further along um, than I am. And, uh, man, what kind of dude is that? A werewolf? The Scruffy Druid. She, uh, she is good people. She is good people. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Zorts. Well, wait, let's just wait till he starts coming in to make sure that Zorts is. Because you know what? Zorts may not be watching. Like, if he watches on the mod, he may not be watching this part. There is Zorts. He's. Uh, there is a lure owned by Zorts. <laughs> Zorts look, look, looks like this. Zorts <laughs> looks a lot different than he used to. The lure is 0 for 14. He's London's top athlete for five years. 
She has been very close to winning one of these, but just has not been able to get over that hump. Maybe, maybe tonight's the night, or today's the day. So you're jinxing her again. She gets over that hump. We'll go on to defeat Jazzy QT on Tuesday night. Here is our final entrant. There is Amber Andrews, one for one and two in Battle Worlds. She's loved by millions, see? I told you. Sometimes it says she's hated by millions, sometimes it says she's loved by millions. Who do you believe? I don't know. Amber Andrews, owned by Voodoo Ush, very excellent person, authentic guy. Loves the horror. Loves the horror. And actually, because of him, I've actually started watching horror movies that I haven't watched when I was a kid. I mean, because I was a kid, but... You know. Well, someone's out oh, by who Scruffy that? Jew. And... By Scruffy? Okay. Baroness. Oh, no. There Baroness. goes our record. Who is that up there? Baby, Baby Rangsta. Scruffy Druid came in at the end, so she would get credit for it. That's if they kick Baby, her off. Yeah, Baby Rax has come back in. Ajwa looking to get rid of a lure. Poor Zorts. Zorts, I love you, buddy. <laughs> Do you? I do. He is a nice guy. He, he is, you know, sorry. Because he, he probably wouldn't want me to call him a nice guy. He is a solid, dep 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 dependable friend. He is a good dude. There you go. Oh, nope. Alex Samuels <laughs> just hangs on. Scruffy Drew but almost eliminates somebody else. I gotta pay attention to this. I'm looking at the chat and then I miss stuff. I don't know. I still think Adra Ad, uh, is still in there. And Jeffy is safe this time. Because he's not even in the ring. Would be cool if Jeffy was on the outside break. of the ring, and uh, and, and then as he gets people knocked. and he gets knocked down when people <laughs> get thrown over the ropes. You know? <laughs> he shouldn't have been standing there. Then. Well, Alex Samuels joined Velvet Dove. Trent, oh, who was that? A lure just eliminated somebody. No, he didn't. Yes, she did. Oh, Adwa. So Amber Andrews got rid of Scruffy Druid. And Allure got rid of Adjua. Thanks, Zerts. And Baby Ranksa got rid of Velvet Dove. Holy moly. Fast and furious. We're down to four. Baby Ranksta, Amber Andrews, Allure, and Alex Samuels. Allure is still in this match. I mean, I didn't bet on her, but... I mean, you gotta. I mean, you got. I, I. I cannot help but root for her. So then, so then we can finally say like she's won. Oh no, she's won a battle royal. I thought she was gonna get clotheslined out. Oh, baby ranks to trying to get rid of her, right on top of <laughs> Amber Andrews. Oh boy. Oh my. It's probably not the. F oh no! Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just leave that one alone. We'll just keep that one in my head. <laughs> oh man! 
And Alex Samuels has been close too. I don't think she's won one. Well, Lure and Baby Ranks have been down for a long time. And there That's comes their finally strategy. Baby Ranks is finally getting back up. Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, a lure. Oh, oh, thank God. I mean, come on, Allure. Oh, no, no. Yeah, we go. Nope. Oh, baby ranks up. <laughs> like, oh, man. I was worried about Allure doing the clothesline thing and ranks up ducking. No, she went out the second Amber rope. Amber went out the second rope, yes. but I think that's going to count. Oh. I think it's going to count because I think that's what they do. And it's happened before. Yes. Controversial. Yep. Velvet Dove, I believe, that happened to you. Yep, it looks like Amber Andrews has been eliminated by going out the second rope. Yep, there she goes. I don't know where Jeffy was. Maybe he was drinking with uh, Jo with jo with, jo with Jojo. Neckbreaker by Beta Rangsta. Oh my god. I mean, what do you think Zorts would do when Allure finally wins? He's gonna have steak. Without ketchup. Well, of course I don't catch up. Oh, there we go. And now, oh. finally, she does it. Allure eliminates Baby Rangsta. We're down to two. Allure has <laughs> been here before. She's been in the final two. She has been here. She knows what it's like. Maybe this is the time. Tonight, maybe Big Sauce each is right. Tonight is the night. Oh, man. Alex Samuels uh, wants it. She's going to go back up on the top rope. But they both have never won it. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think Alex Samuels has. Nope, she's 0-8. 0-8. It doesn't matter. I mean, this stuff is going to wear her down, yes, but all that needs to happen is one slip-up. And you've lost it, right? So... Whoa, whoa, oh, jeez, I keep expecting, like, a clothesline out of nowhere. Where is a lure going? <laughs> okay. Alex Samuels. Oh, a kick right to the back of the head. Could have knocked her out. A lure. Nope. Not done yet. I mean, I'm just in awe that here we are again. We're taking a kick right to the face. I mean, Alex Samuels' battle royal record is not great either. She's o she's 0 and 8. Samuels, oh, is gonna do a neckbreaker. Nice DDT by Allure. Maybe this is going to be it. It's going to set her up closer to... Oh, here we go. I don't know. Is this going to be it? Allure! Is this going to be it? Yes! Allure! <laughs> Allure! Allure! Allure has finally won a Did Battle Royal. I don't know. I don't but think anyone bet on Allure, her. Allure! Finally! Congratulations, <laughs> Allure! Allure. We're just going to keep saying that name over and over. <laughs> Allure. Over and over again. Finally. She gets the victory. And she's going to move on to face Jazzy QT. Here is your winner, Smooth. Smooth. JoJo got it somewhat right. A that move was smooth. It was pretty smooth. A lure. We'll take on Jazzy QT for the internet title Tuesday night. Congratulations, Zorts. So he'll be very happy. Finally. Finally. <laughs>
<laughs> buy a lotto ticket because hell has frozen over indeed indeed wow i thought that was climate change <laughs> melting everything where is the lure nobody bet on the lure but you verbally were like i mean it's her <laughs> <laughs> i should have bet on her but i didn't okay we're going to get to one of our final matches, one of two boss matches. The first one will be with Venom versus Abaddon. There we go. Betting is open. Hey. Hmm? I thought I did the boss. T oh, that's probably because it's not recognizing it as a boss battle because the ticks were gone. Which I'll fix it after. So I put in a thing to say that Venom, uh, that the bosses will show their record as a boss. Oh yeah, that's right. And I did that. Oh, there's no, there's no intro. Well, holy crap. Why? I don't know. I probably didn't do it. I don't know why. Okay. Um, so shout out for Big Sausage. Is the owner of Abaddon. We are not professional here at all she's she's the closest thing that we have to a pro here pro of what <laughs> yep my bad so venom is 17 9 and 0 in singles matches abaddon is 1 and 0 in singles matches But that's against Ned. If, well, if Abaddon defeats Venom, he will get a berth into tomorrow night's number one match, the winner of which will take on Stone at SummerSlam. Or whoever the champion is at SummerSlam. Whoa, Jeffy. I know why we didn't do it, because when we came in, we came back in from our break, and I just set the wrestler and we moved on, and I didn't do the page up, page down to set motion to fast and entrances to on. Okay. Now, all that Abaddon has to do is beat Venom. Doesn't matter if it's by disqualification, countout, pinfall, or submission. As long as it's not a draw. If it's a draw, then it's not a victory, and that's and he will, will not advance. He's got to beat him. One way or another. If, he, if Venom does something gets a DQ'd, well, a win is still a win. In with the pale plex. Venom kicks out. I believe he believe he learned that off of Mr. Perfect. And he rebranded it as the pale plex, looking for a submission. I mean this guy could use some sun. I'm not gonna lie here. He could certainly use some sun, uh, but perhaps, you know what? We have not had any male wrestlers defeat Venom this go around. We've only had Lady Red defeat She-Hulk. So the bosses have all been pretty much- uh, Didn't Stone beat Venom? Not for this go around, like this between this, between mate, between paper, Purviews. Okay. Well, drags, drags them out to reset the count. <laughs> Man. Three, 
<laughs> He's gonna drag it out again. <laughs> it's like no. <laughs> Let's kill some time here. Oh man. Then I'm gonna pick him back up. He's <laughs> It's gonna throw him back in. He's gonna get up. Oh, oh! I thought Venom was gonna throw do it again. Out. Grabs his legs, <laughs> pull him right back up. You gotta be careful of Venom because he'll just hit you with like one move, and then you're done. And uh, in this case, he's gonna try to rip off Abaddon's head. Maybe he believes that he's a he's dead already. Well, that I'm able to cover. Maybe now it's not done. Well, it seems like the momentum has shifted to Venom. Oh, clocked him. I had some hopes that Abaddon was going to be able to win here, but now it's not looking so good. It's shifted right around. Is he going to submit? And he... Don't, oh, I thought he did, because the camera shifted. Yeah, and... I thought he submitted. And Jeffy... Well, I'm glad he didn't. like he called it. Yeah. Well, That's he was... Weird. Well, he kind of did like this, like, no. But oh, sometimes okay. his waving also means, yes, it's <laughs> over. <laughs> it means yes as well. Oh, no, the pale... The it's super a super duper pale plex. This is going to be a pale pooper plex. Oh, so it's triple P? Yes. PPP? -P -P? He did the PPP -P -P <laughs> off the top rope. Abaddon taking Venom all the way down. And we call it the pooperplex because when you get hit with that, you're, you're probably going to poop your pants. Just even if it's just a little bit. Because you're going to hit hard. That's a long way down. It's a six count. Oh, he's going to turn him over. Rams, rams his head off of the apron. As Zorus would have you know, it's the hardest part of the ring. Even harder than the steel posts, apparently. Okay, maybe Ab oh, Abaddon turns him over. Half Boston Crab. Tap. Tap, damn you. You didn't bet on anyone. <laughs> oh, I didn't. Damn it. It was a thousand. Ugh. I'm the only one that bet. Ugh. I think I was so mesmerized by how the match just started. No, and also there was no entrance. Right. Like, that's that's yeah. what got me all like, huh, what? Oh, no. Round and round and round. No, no, I'm no. I'm busy. Oh, my goodness. So if Abaddon ever throws up, <laughs> is it going to be in color? Do you think it's in color? I don't know. Would it be, like, gray? <laughs> it is just gray. <laughs> it's just gray. With chunks of dark in there, black, and then some chunks of white. Okay. Yeah. It's like a medley of colors, of, of, of varying shades of gray. I wonder if his favorite book is Shades of Gray. It's 50 Shades of Gray. Yeah. Oh, no. Sister Symbiote? Oh, I'm so sorry, Abaddon. And there it is. Venom is your winner. 2,000 points for me. You bet on Venom? Yes. Why, Look. why would you bet on Venom? <laughs> you have to bet on our friends in the chat. Abaddon got abandoned. That's about right. That's about sums it up. Round and round she goes. You did. I honestly, I thought you were going to beat him. And I thought you were going to beat him. Here is your winner, Eddie Brock. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, here is our final match of the show. We are going to have She-Hulk take on Maddie Hunter. If Maddie Hunter can win, she will move on to the number one match on Tuesday evening. Where she'll have a shot at winning that. And then uh, she can win that. Then she'll have a title match. Oh, drunk again. Against Sarah the Necromancer. Here we go. Come on. I need to bet. I'm going to bet. I'm going to bet for Maddie Hunter. I'm betting against her. For Maddie Hunter. There we go. The safe bet is to bet on the boss in these in these matches. It is the safe bet, to be sure. See, we did the intro here because we finished that, we set up that one match and we went to the next one, and I did it. You just forgot to do it. I just forgot to do it. Making her way yeah. to the ring from Los Angeles, California, She-Hulk. She-Hulk, cre this wrestler was created by Elzar ZC off of Community Creations. No, it's not mine. But we have modified her a bit, like the jacket. But everything else is you know, so I I cannot claim it as my own. She Hulk is 6-4-0 in singles matches. She broke the fourth wall before Deadpool did. It's true. It's true. Okay. Maddie Hunter. I can see her dancing to this walk. Walking down the way. Like the real person that owns this. I can see her walking down like a ramp. I, I, I can see it. Yep. You know. Overall, Maddie Hunter is 10-3-0 in singles matches. She's been known to bleat like a billy goat so well, she draws goats to her from miles around. <laughs> well, all the animals are like roaming around the streets because <laughs> we're all indoors. <laughs> She's going to get destroyed? I don't know, man. I think... This is the first time she's facing she I think so. I think she's faced Venom before. Like, the girl Venom. Alright. Here we go. Good luck, Maddie Hunter. And to my bet. <laughs> Say bye-bye to your bet. Lady Red uh, was the only person to beat She-Hulk so far this go-around, so it's made that four-way match into a five-way. If Maddie Hunter wins, it'll be a six-way. Six-way elimination match. Maddie Hunter... Oh, what? What? I think that was like a little hop, skip, and a goat. <laughs> <laughs> Is she gonna faint? <laughs> Is she a fainting goat? I, I don't hope know. Not. <laughs> I really hope not. We'll find out. Maybe she is a fainting goat. Like, rah! Those poor things. But it's so funny. <laughs> and Jeffy so far has only been hit two times, so you're the closest on your bet. Yep. Unless she Hulk takes him out, like, twice. That would be great. Usually it's an Irish whip that takes him out. At least that's what I noticed more. Oh, no. Skyscraper powerbomb. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Right in the middle of the ring. How is she not dead? Oh, Aria 
at DMD is just sitting here like, what is this garbage? She's like, if I was in the ring, I'd be able to kick her arse anytime. Mm -hmm. well, it's starting to get dark out. The rains are coming. I mean, if Maddie Hunter wants to win by count out, that's still a win. Gonna kick those green gams. Oh god. Oh no. Choke slam. <laughs> so would Eldrin be able to interrupt? Yes. He wouldn't be able to punch anything. He could pull people out. Okay. I'm pretty sure he can pull people out. He can also uh, distract Jeffy. Oh my god. She got annihilated. Yep, she's Alpha dead. Reaper, that's right. She Hulk is your winner. Here is your winner. They're so bad that so bad that there wasn't even a replay. Thank you for your thousand pebbles. It uh, went to me. Uh, terrible. Terrible. It's a so a terrible. Okay. We're going to call it here. Uh, our next show will be Titans tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. It's all the men. There will be a number one match in, to determine who will be the number one contender against the, the tag team champions and who will be the number one cont contender against Stone's World Championship. Um, what else? Uh, the Canadian puts in belt. It will be uh, Vincent Johnson will uh, defend that. Um, I have it right here on my card. I don't know why I'm trying to remember it because my memory is terrible. Uh, and the internet championship, Sarge, will take on uh, Macho Man, right? Didn't Macho Man win? Macho Man did. Macho Man won. So Macho Man will take on Sarge for the Internet Championship tomorrow. And uh, the number one contender match for the tag team is Alpha Flight taking on the Brothers of Destruction. Number one contenders match for the SGWF Championship is Demon Rissica versus Sephiroth versus Levistus versus The Swinger. Uh, other than that, uh, we are going to go on a quick raid. Uh, I think we're going to do more wrestling. We're going to do some wrestling. We're going to do a raid on a wrestling streamer who is an excellent streamer, in my opinion. It's a lot more professional than we are. Um, let me type it up and in there, and I hope you will join me. Mastodon. So, before we go, uh, Big Sausage, thank you for resubbing. I'm very sorry. But Carrie was right. You know what you're getting into now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and Legend T130, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, I'll and see. also the hosting by. Oh. Thank you very much. See, because the postings didn't show up in the list. It was just in the chat. Voodoo, thank you for the host. I appreciate that very much as well. See? Keeping I'm me honest. I'm good for something. Keeping me honest. <laughs> Keeping me honest. All right. You all have a great night. And uh, we will see you soon. Peace. Peace outside.